And the future Yelmog, how do you want him to operate when you're not in session? So I know what to do. I mean, you were probably doing it right. Okay, cool. Um, so like Captain E. Yep. I don't know. Just give, uh, basically anything, anytime they say, oh, we do, we do this, like, okay, hey, well then, uh, your captain approves and probably gave the order to do so. Yeah, I mean, just, uh, give just them whatever support role you can if I'm not here. Right. That's kind of how I play them anyway. Or at least yeah, the we, last two sessions. Yeah, we didn't put him any danger. He's in the middle of the pack. But we didn't use his combat ability either, so the players could enjoy themselves. I guess that's kind of what I do with them. You can enjoy yourself. Or, he you was just there. Me, uh, going, you didn't want me spending 20 minutes uh, rolling one attack? Uh huh. <laughs> we already had Dude doing the same thing, so. And then at, at one point, Boko just was like, okay, they're dead. Cut it off. <laughs> He's right. fucking dead. No kill like overkill. His very hell rounds, they're the best. Um, you okay there? Yeah, it's just choked on, choked on my delicious burger. At 10 in the morning? At yeah. 5 at night? I eat pizza oh, for breakfast. Sense. Dude, uh... Pizza's a good actually, breakfast. Yeah, when you start cancer, all food is good food. That's unfortunate for me as well, because I got... I gained all the weight I lost, but it's all good. Worth it. That tends yeah, exactly. to happen to people. Worth Especially it. Especially yeah, exactly. Well, with this with this coming uh, recession thing, might be a good thing. It is. Right, back to the game. You guys are in a dark, creepy mag train rail line. Are you able to see a a a NCS? Yes. Okay, cool. In fact, let me make sure your vision is correct. I got I got the 360 and I've got my uh, the line of sights. It's all good. Oh, good. There you go. Oh, you you ruined it. Yep, you're you're yeah, with everyone else. Field of you must know our pain. Yes. <laughs> Let me do some rolls here. Let's see what happened here. Okay. You're lucky. Anyways, we'll get to you. And I believe the tech marine uh, was able to repair some of the helmets. You want to roll to see if you can repair Ansius's? Yes. Issue? All right. Uh, that's going to be tech use, right? Yep. Minus Modifier? Minus, minus, minus 20 in this one. Minus 20. Oh, boy. Because he does have a little damage visor. Okay. You nailed it. Ah, oh, yes. yes. It's a 14. That's pretty good. Come here, That's brother, really so I may repair your helmet. Yeah, you're able to repair as best you can. That's what you're able to get back there, Ancius. Excellent. We're going to have to admonish the text priests whenever we get back and have them properly ah. take care of our equipment. This is the second time in this mission our helmets have failed. Well... <clears throat> To be fair, you guys did suffer a really catastrophic insertion. We all suffered helmet damage, yes. To be Believe fair, me, in my time, I've seen worse. Was it three? Huh? How many space marines died on impact? Was it three? Uh, so Chris's character's dead. The librarian's dead. Any, any player that didn't show up, they're automatically dead. Because uh, I asked them, you guys plan on playing? Uh, one's like, yeah, just kill me on impact. So your librarian's dead. Chris's character, he hasn't said one way or the other. I'm going to assume he's dead, too, because he would be here. So, yeah, three three is dead upon impact, at least. Kind of shitty that people didn't show up. I, I, hence, why the shock, works. hence why the shotgun approach I had. I did not anticipate all 12 showing up. Well, but it's all right. <sighs> Those basically, who cared, basically, everyone showed up in session zero, so that was really promising. Right. But, but yeah, that probably turned a couple people off to the whole. Ah, uh, so yeah. yeah. Since what okay. three of them? That was their first RPG experience. Was making yeah. a character. They're still. Those are still here. Oh, yeah, like dude is still here. Yeah, dude. Dude's a first person. So, all the all the firsters are here. 
no, not all the firsters. Mrs. Robo's Mrs. a firster. Uh, who else was there? Dan. Uh -huh. I don't Dan's know if Dan is first or not. Yeah. He's first. He's first like RPing with us, but I don't know if it's his first time ever. But yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. I just we had like three first right. timers. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Chris is a first timer. Uh, Genghis is not a first timer. He DMs his own games, but um, let's see what they're up to. Oh, that. But anyways, he he has some basketball game where basically, well, you know how it goes, you know, mug. They always come up with some life excuse why not the show. It's just how th that's the nature of the beast of these games. Sorry, no, I can't. My child has a thing. <laughs> <laughs> those those people have legitimate excuses. Well, no, people yeah. with children. Using your children as an excuse to not play a pen and paper tabletop game? How dare you? Monsters. Monsters. Okay. I mean, there's there's a difference between, like, making a commitment to a certain time, like, once a week, every day, and then just coming up with an excuse for why you can't do that. So, yep. I don't know. It, it depends, really. All right, you guys, you guys ready? Let's do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So south is where you want to be going, Yale Mug. I don't know if you see that. It goes quite see, a ways. I see that's where everyone's facing, so yeah. Okay. I'm just slowly moving towards south. You know, keep a watch out from behind. I assume that's what my character was doing before anyway. Uh, yeah, he's behind. He's in the middle of the pack. He was uh, giving orders. Um, Jeez, my vision is like super low in here. Yeah. Is that everybody? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The main. Ooh, my it's thing just... crashed. Hold up, my thing crashed. Uh oh. Give me a second. Also, one person's not moving. I want to move. But there's a guy still not. Going anywhere. The the the, the mango Castiar wants you to make a perception check. Uh, ten modifier, That's and then uh, one person's not moving. Perception ten. That might be Dan's character. Right, Karnoff. Yeah. Uh, he'll just he'll just trail along. Ten. Build a mace. Oh, that's nice. Okay, uh, you hear something in that direction. Context front. Oh no. <laughs> Bolter's ready, brothers. Yep, they have it. You guys see them? Uh, not any. Not yet. See two figures there through the gloom. Hey. Okay. Uh, Those are see. real close to him. If y'all haven't seen him yet, I'm just, just, just now him. seeing him. Yeah, oh, he's geez. gonna take. He's gonna take a shot at you there, uh, Domingus. He failed. I'm very, I'm very fine because I only see one slightly right here. They're right. choking on their own spit right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, they all miss. They all miss wildly. Yep. What about the minus four There's guy? Here. Uh seventy-four. Here. He hits he shoots the ground. Blasts <laughs> the ground beneath him. So uh as you three came in, they all just started lighting you up. They tried to start lighting us up. Yep. More or less. Uh, Ancy, so you're in the rear? Yeah. Go ahead, roll perception. Uh, what are you guys' response to those guys shooting? You guys get a response? Flamethrower. Okay. Did you expect peace talks? Okay. Yeah, you hear scurrying noises in the walls here. I'm going to get behind the guys. trying to surround us. Hey, 
Go ahead and make your attacks, guys. Oh, you guys already, you guys already attack. Uh, they have to roll agility checks. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, no modifiers. None that I know of. Okay. Oh. Well, one dies. One's one. Yeah, one 99. of them. One of them just uh, spontaneously evaporates. Just he just he's just gone. <laughs> He doesn't, with a failure rate like that, he doesn't catch on fire and then, like, light the other guys oh, on I'm, fire? I'd imagine it's a, it's a burning corpse. Uh, instant death is was pretty pretty good failure rate there. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Here, here's the question you should be asking. With that low of a roll, does he light up the area around him being on fire? Yeah, does his death spasm spread the fire? Well, mm -hmm. I asked the same question, but just in a different manner. Different right, word. let me... Uh, well, <laughs> I'm going to say yes, it does. I rolled for that one. So the, the next guy, he catches on fire. And let's see. Where's the little fire symbol? That's good enough. Yeah, he's on fire. And then let's see. The last guy's not on fire. I do not see him. Despite yeah, how close I am. Oh, oh. You can tell them that, too. You just have to trust what they say, I guess. <laughs> Are you going to take a shot at them, Domingus? A shot in the dark? Sure. Um, let's give you minus, minus 10 on that. Would the burning one be a big, bright target, though? Yes. He can see, yeah, but his sensors, he obviously can't see. Um, he still hits. He still impacts. And uh, this dude has evaporated. <laughs> so uh, there's what one guy left. So we're three. Now each one of those hits can go against a different person. Really? Also, uh, yeah, because it's uh, they're both dead then. Auto. Also, that uh, 10 gives him an extra hit. Go Plus, for it. Of course, you know, the rolling an extra dice for each one to replace the lowest keep, die. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, dude. I think they're both rolling dead. Hit. Yeah, yeah, roll think, another hit. I think so. Three modifiers. Yep. But just so you know, that damage is enough to kill both of them. No dice. That's a miss. They're both dead, though. Well, the uh, the second uh, roll was a miss, though. For the two hit I, roll. The the first three damages was enough to kill both of them outright. Oh, got yep. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because one was already on fire and he was about dead, so that first round impact killed him, and the last two is more than thirty, so he's mega dead. Nice. Because I don't even calculate their t their damage reduction because pin six it goes right through whatever they got. I think they got three. So yeah, so, they're just termagants or armagants. Yeah. Yeah, it's just three. It's just you blow right through them. All right, uh, and Ancius, you t you told them what you hear. Yep, and I'm gonna have a react or a prepare to fire anything that pops out of the wall. So I guess a held action. Uh, boom, and you see four figures pop out of the wall. Sweet. Full auto, here I come. Yep, uh, two warriors and two hermagons. Oh, nice. Uh, definitely going to be using the Hellfire rounds. <laughs> All right. Uh, specifically against the warriors first. The guys don't scare me as much. Okay, so they're half range, so that's plus 10. There was something else that gave us another plus 10. Plus uh, 20. Uh, minimum, or uh, half the distance to your range. Yep, so that's plus 10. They're out in the open, so you normally give us another plus 10 for that. Yep. And then uh, plus 20 because of full auto. All 
All right, so all four are going to hit. And remember, I'm going against warriors first. Are these uh, warriors? I think they so, were before they got turned into a red spear. So, uh, Dominego, they are behind us. You can call a you turn damage. around. I, I can do everything. So Please do everything. Saying, like over here. How do, how do you make? How do okay. you do a radial ping? Let hold left click. So far, that's at least one other hit. Got it. Okay, so I don't get to do my amazing, wonderful spree like normal. So uh, this ignores natural armor. So remember that. Yeah. So they have no armor essentially. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why all my pins are five. No, no, and five is normal, right? Uh, what do you have? A five, bolter? five is normal pen without Hellfire rounds. Right. I mean, it, it keeps the it keeps the pen on Hellfire rounds, but it also ignores natural armor. So does um, penetration deal more damage? No, penetration ignores whatever armor they have left. Got it. Got it. Such as toughness. So in this case, the penetration doesn't matter. Well, it would ignore their toughness. Value. Oh, oh, their toughness. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, the first one is 14, uh, 14 plus five. So 19 for the first one. Um, I don't know what their armor and stuff is. So it ignores natural armor and five pins. So, you know, let's see. We'll look at the warrior. So then they have, I think it was. Eight armor, eighteen toughness. Uh, or hold on, see, it says eighteen. The the smaller number is eighteen below them. <clears throat> so they the lower have, number is. Uh, but what's their? It's eight at the top, eighteen at the bottom, and they have natural. Eighteen armor. to be their total reduction then. Okay, so the eight at the top will be. So they ignore they they, they ignore five damage then. They ignore three damage. Okay. But they're probably three. Yeah, so the yeah. bottom number is their toughness plus their armor, but their armor is natural, and this ammo ignores that. So, yeah, so eight one. would be the remaining. And then eight would be the remaining. Rate. Because eight's the toughness. So it was 18, eight being the top being their armor. No, so no. Is, is the top toughness. their armor? Okay. So it would be 10. Okay, so it is five minus everything. So first one's 14. Um. Here. Second one is 15. Uh, third one is uh, 14. And, oh, that's a 9. I should roll another hit roll. Um, and the fourth one is a 13, but I got one more hit roll that I can make because there was another 9 in there. Okay, uh, the first warrior's dead with all those rolls you just told me about. Hey, that one hit. Okay, and that's gonna hit the next guy in line, right? Or fifteen. Okay. Okay, and the fifth one is uh, fifteen. Right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you killed one warrior and you injured the other one. Hey, uh, four, six, I think you guys can roll for initiative now. Uh, what's initiative again? Is it like 1d10 plus agility? Yeah, 1d10, okay. Still getting high numbers. You're getting your tens out of the way now. That might be good and a bad thing. True, because there's degrees of failure. 
Where rock do I add this guy's token? Oh, That's right click. Uh, okay, I see it. I see it. Uh, add turn. That's some gambler's fallacy for you. Getting your tens out of the way. All right. Well, they roll 12, so they got 12. And then Anthony's got a six. six. Interesting. I can now see the turn order. Yeah, that's so that is weird. Um, yeah, maybe we just busted last time. Speaking hell. Fifteen. Uh, Karnoth not here, so he'll just get deleted. Uh, let's see. Sylvester so got an eight. Uh, who am I missing? Everyone got. Tech Marine. What Tech Marine get? I got a 10. 10? Okay. I can see the turn order, but only one thing is populated in there. Yeah. Oh, probably you. No, it's not me. No, it's against you. In case. In case. Really? So I have to... That's so weird. Uh, I to... I... Okay, so I guess... Maybe it's a token problem. Uh, yeah, I probably have to add you guys every single time. So I imagine, let me see. Do you see that? Yes. yes. Oh my god, that's so stupid, but all right. I mean, we don't have to use the turn order. We can just... No, it's 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 fine. Uh, but now I know how the system works. Domingus, you got a nine. See, the, the, the thing with the turn orders is if there was a button on our character sheet, there is a way to tie it in to turn order rolling. With initiative but, stuff, but for whatever reason, whoever made the character sheet just decided not to do that. Wonder if you go to the attributes tab if there's something in there that we can manually edit. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking down the names. I think I got it. Hold up, I'm missing somebody. Dude, Moth with the uh, Moth and Tech Marine, Anthius. Who am I missing? Uh, oh, Tech Marine. Okay, that that's who. And you got a ten. I only I only see three people on the list. So yeah, I, 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 I don't think I see. I don't oh, think no. I see mine. Yeah, okay. dude is missing from there. And you just removed the Tech Marine. Yep. Okay, I'll re-add him. God, thanks so funky. I don't see any value in the attributes and abilities. That looks like it might be like for initiative. What'd you get in your roll? Fifteen. Alright. May I test something? Go for it. Did you update? I see a 20. I, okay, apparently I can update my own. What? Sweet. How do you do that? You just type it in. Click on the, mon click on the number. Just click the number. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So my, my question is, do because it's so difficult to add stuff, do we want to just keep the turn order up all the time and then we can edit the number? Like for it's each encounter? Yeah, 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 but it's because we went to a new area, new whatever. It. Oh, with it. oh, right. Okay. Got it. I got it. I know how to do it. What? Oh. I'll put it in Death Watch chat. Cool. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna slow us down with that. Anyways, uh, so Domingos, you're up. So, is there any anyone in the south? And or it's just we're focused on the north. Do you yeah, see anyone? North. Pretty much all you gotta do to the end of your roll is you earn, you add the end tracker, and then it'll put it up on the uh, turn tracker. Do uh -huh. in mind when you do that, you have to have your token selected. Also, the command I listed, you probably want to add your. Uh, so I'm gonna test that right now. You wanted to send the result to this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. 
Yeah, select your token, brother. Oh, I see. Okay, so I click on my dude, then I do this. Yep. Ah. Then it'll change your role for you. Right, but I'm gonna so edit it back to ten. Cause that's what we originally got. Yeah, same. I didn't Unless you got a lot higher. <laughs> Good. Uh, nice work on that, Moth. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just googled turn tracker for roll twenty. Gotcha. <laughs> I was hoping there would be a command for it, and there was. Okay. Uh, so, is there anything in the south? Because I don't see anything. Nope. If you don't see it, you don't see it. <sighs> okay. If I look in the north, I see the four critters. One warrior is dead. Oh, man, you guys can see? Well, I... We have shared vision with Anseus. Oh, I don't. Zoom out my a bit. My vision is here. I can see a whole 12 meters in front of my face. Try zooming out. That, that is zoomed out, Cobra. Okay. My cone of vision is this. Yeah, but, like, you can... Can can you <sighs> see the ping up here? Uh, yeah, I can see the pings. Yeah, he, okay. he, yeah, yeah, he, he, uh, your character would know generally where these guys are coming from. You may not see them physically. But we can hear them. <laughs> uh, your comrades would be informing you where they're at. Right. Yeah, I'm... Anxious, you might want to fall back so that we can have a better line of sight. Line of fire. Yeah, uh, Car yeah on my turn. Yeah, Karnoth's over here with you guys as well. Being allowed to move now, out of turn order. Uh, so Dominguez. Oh yeah, so Dominguez, what you doing? Um, oh, how far away is that again? You run the risk of hitting Nancyus, though. Yeah. His armor should take the bolter, though. If you. <laughs> a heavy bolter? Yeah. It's heavy oh, bolter. oh, not a heavy bolter. Never mind. Right, he's gonna. I mean, at least the uh, bolter would select fire, right. or fire selector, but right. it still runs a risk. Dominagus, get the bolter, the heavy bolter. Is it possible I could do a charge then, then fire? Or just with a melee attack? Gotcha. Now you can move and do a single attack, or a single ranged attack. After you move. Right. He's still going to be a line of fire. It's up to you guys how you guys want to handle this. Let's take my full action to reload my heavy bolter. You're going to be loading the hellfire rounds? Nah, just regular. Since I was low on my clips for the past couple uh, fights. Right. Uh, let me see. I think that's that's, that's a full turn. So yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, tech marine. Okay, so I'm going to, rather than shooting and endangering my teammate, I'm going to throw a grenade and land it right in the middle here between these guys. All right. All right. So I'm going to do my, let's see, do my two-hit roll, I guess, with the grenade. Minus 10. Minus 10? All right. Oh, no. Well, it's going to pop, pop, pop. And it's going to be right here. All right. A little bit short. What's the AO on that thing? Uh, let's see. Range? Oh no, that's range. I actually don't know what the area of effect is. I don't see that listed uh, here. Grenade? Yeah. It's not in it's my. A, uh... It's a blast five. It's not in my five meters. Okay. So. Okay. Speed t times three. He's right. He's right at the edge of the blast radius. Oh, that's the range. So Never mind. Good thing it has zero pen. So I'm gonna yeah, roll the true. damage for that. Yeah, your guy's probably just going to be annoyed oh, there, Moth. Yeah, it <laughs> does gonna, jack shit. Gonna, you see a big old off to your right. <laughs> like a firecracker. 
The shrapnel bounces harmlessly off of your space marine armor. Alright, moth. <laughs> Even then, if he threw a cracker grenade, it'll not pay. It'll not damage you since only pantry six. Well, depends if the damage roll overcomes the toughness or not. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, because it can still shred you. Yeah, like we've injured ourselves with crack grenades in previous sessions. That's right. No, we don't need our own hands. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can use my servo arm instead of my hands to throw things. And that's my turn. Can't do what anything. You... It's such high range. What'd you do? I moved forwards. Okay, armor got. Let's see. First on the ground. Yeah, this warrior is going to come up to you there. And see us. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm going to get my dodge ready. <laughs> uh, okay. And he's going to attack. And he's no, going to... No, he's not. He's <laughs> going to miss you. Uh, <laughs> Hermagoth, this one. I'm going to go up to you. And he's going to hit you. And for that much, oh. unless you dodge, he's gonna he's gonna try and do that. However, I'm totally going to fail my dodge and get hit by that. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> no! Uh, so pin three, yeah. Oh, where does it hit? Uh, was it reverse of that? Yeah, so, uh, no, the, of the hit roll. 62 reverse. So the hit so, roll is yeah, 26. So it's 62. Okay, and then... Oh. Well, it'd be 26 reverse, which is 62, so we're not 62 gonna, in the chart. You're gonna take also... Yeah, 62 is body. Sweet. So, right. minus 3, so that's, uh, 16 on right. the left. Cool. Um... And then... Hold up, let's see, where's that thing at? I had it up before. Uh, it can take some toxic damage. I think it's like a straight 1d10. It's only five wounds. It's fine. Okay. Whoa, toxic they damage. Do, they do toxic damage. bonuses to ignore toxins. Yes, we do. Oh, you, ooh, nice. Okay. AFK for a minute. So then you probably ignore it then. Uh, No, we just we still have to make a roll, but we get like a plus 20 to it. Okay. Go ahead. Which I proceeded to fail. So you're taking... Uh, four wounds. Nice. It's okay, brothers. I'm not quite yet at half health. Or how many points of damage got through? Well, with the toxin, nine. No, I mean before before the the no, but five got through from the attack and then that actually Oh got then never mind. You don't it's it's every ten points you take toxic. Never mind, oh, ignore okay. the ignore the four. Ignore the Sweet. four. I didn't take it. Good. But <clears throat> you do now know your character would know, especially from last session, that uh uh they have toxins. So And he has, actually has some uh vials of that, I forgot to mention that. Alright, I'm back. Because uh, Tesseract nearly died to that. Yep, that's true. He took uh, a lot oh, of damage yeah. over. A like lot of damage. Yeah. yeah, he took a lot of damage over. If it weren't for fate nearly... points, I'd be dead. Yeah, it nearly killed him. He took like, uh... yeah. And uh, because my renown is not very good at the moment, I would not be able to become a dreadnought either. Sweet. Uh, all right, the other Hermagant is coming up and
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you can just burn a fate point and make him re-roll. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that seems good. Because we get these, what, per session or fate points? Yep. Yeah. Three, three per session. Sweet. So, yeah, I'll spend one to have him re-roll. Because we only get one reaction a turn, yeah? Okay, so it's not as bad. Uh, you can spend as many as you want to make him re-roll. Also, we share fate points, too. Yep. So we can lend you one. It's up, it's up to you well, guys. Well, I'm asking, do we only get one reaction? Uh, fate points will allow you to burn them as no, much no, as no, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, that's fate points. Point. I'm asking, do we get more than one reaction? I think it's just he wants one. wants to parry. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, per enemy, yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, sure. I was just asking if we, if the one was standard, but all right. I'll try and parry. No, because um, that, that makes sense to me. You should be able to parry everything that comes at you. Um, well, my dodge and weapon skill are exactly the same, so I'll just dodge. Hey, I succeeded in dodging that. Cool, because that would have been probably terrifying. Oof, man. Okay. Well, less so from Hermogons, but yes, it would still hurt. I, I mean... There's a talent to let you parry more than once. Uh, your, your turn there, Antius. They're all gone. They gotta do their thing. Cool. Um, I'm gonna disengage and then move. Hey. Mm. Yeet. So, is that as far as I can go? Yeah, full move is 10, so that's as far as I can move back. Oh, all right. Uh, and, uh, whoops. Yeah, and uh, disengage means they don't get that free. Don't you have any um, squad abilities you can get, boost your guys' team? Oh, well, I mean, if we're using the squad abilities, then I get another free 10 move. Yep. Yeah, because that's on by default, if I recall you said. It's always on until you say it's off, so you get another 10. Sweet. Oh. I forgot about so, that. We have an ability called Killing Strike that well, makes it, it is so... a reaction, though. That's fine. Okay. I want to say you reacted to getting pummeled to death. You jumped out of that shit, and then you ran back for cover. Well, I mean, I got another reaction there because it's my top of my round, so I've gotten okay. my reaction back, but now I can't dodge. Anyway. Uh, that's my turn. Disengaged and moved. Domingo, it's your turn. I'm gonna move right next to Ancient so that um so I can shoot over his shoulder. And use the heavy well, blaster. I don't think you can shoot over his shoulder with a heavy ass bolter. Heavy bolter. It's like a minigun, remember? I'll right. Say, yeah, so you could probably to the side of him possibly. Not I mean, heavy bolters are miniguns. Yeah, they're different weapons. Well, I mean, they're a giant uh, cannon-like minigun thing. They're huge. Something like this. <clears throat> Is he in the line of sight? A line of fire? Uh, not directly, but it's still possible to to hit him if you really mess up. So don't mess up. I I'll use the regular bolter with select fire. Okay. And the modifier. What's the modifier? Uh, let's see. Uh, they're half range, right? So you get a plus forty. Well, yeah. Depends on what you're doing. If, if it's half range, which it is, it's plus ten. Uh, there, if there's no cover, no, another plus ten. No cover. And you moved though, I guess, with a free action. So if you're doing a full auto, it's another plus twenty. If you're doing a semi-auto, it's only another plus ten. If you're just doing a regular shot. Then it's no bonus. I'm doing full auto. Cool. Now that's a full action, but you got that free movement, so cool. Okay. So plus 40 then? Yep. Yes. Plus 40. Okay. I'm assuming you're targeting the damn warrior. Yeah. All right. And that's eight, eight hits or? Eight hits, yeah. Well, it's up to your uh, up rate to your of fire. Ammo. Yep. So if you're using a bolt gun, it's four. Okay, four, four it is. 
Yeah. I don't know what it is for the heavy bolter, but for the uh, bolt gun, it's only four. Uh, ten. And that's an extra shot you get to do. Yep. Go for it. Wow, seven degrees of success. Good God. Uh, uh, let's see. That's a lot of damage coming down range. I think the warrior's dead. Yeah. Well, he does get an extra hit uh, shot. And remember, each of these hits can go against different targets. Oh, but hold up. He is absorbing because he's not using Hellfire. Is he, uh, you, yeah, he, he said has... regular. So he's, yeah, he's so... got his full 18. So, so he's he... reducing 13 from all of this. Oh, God. But uh, you got a Righteous Fury, so you can make another attack roll with the same modifier. All right, so never mind. He's not dead. So minus. Sweet. So that's one more hit. Oh, I'm dealing his damage. Minus. Roll damage for that. Minus four. Hey, look. There's another 10, so that's another uh, Righteous Fury. <laughs> so you can attack Five, again, three. same modifiers. Uh, don't calculate damage yet, Thomas, because you can still roll all those D10s to... Uh, Try and get better damage. Oh, okay. he's, he's, I think he's already dead, so he's already dead. Um, plus, yeah, but we can switch to the brain as he's like, already he's dead. dead. Oh, actually, now you're gonna want to roll like 60 tens, yeah, go ahead, uh, because 20, you can but... swap out low rolls. Hey, look, there's another 10, uh, so that's another hit roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He only had one HP left, just without all oh the rolls. Oh my god. So he's dead. Yeah, but what about the other two? Because remember, each one of these hits uh, can go against another uh, person. Right, yeah. so uh, first, first, all the rolls up to the 16 all hit, <laughs> and then he re-rolled that, so the next couple, next damage is he rolling out is damage to the other guys. Because all that initial damage was just to the warrior. So how much is the that? 16? 90? All the way to the 16, and then I, I'm assuming that 11 damage you bumped up. So all that damage went to, went to him. Well, Actually, well remember, those, that 6 D10 rolls after that can That's increase true. the damage of the first ones. That's true. So go ahead and... Because uh, that first roll then is a uh, 20 instead of a 15. Yeah, he had 33 life, and he had 13 reduction. He had 13 reduction? So he took 7 damage for the first hit. If he's got 13 reduction. Um... The second one is um, 21 minus 15, so another 6 damage. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one is 23 minus 13, so 10 damage. Uh, the fourth one is another 2, so that's 18, so that's another 5 damage. This was a full auto attack, right? Yeah. 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 Why'd you only roll four times for hitting? You should have had seven hits there. It, the bullet, the gun only goes up the rate of fire four. So it goes up to whatever your rate of bullet. fire is. He said no, he was using no. his regular bolt gun. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to risk um, hitting the person in front of me. Right. Yeah, so let's see how much damage bleeds over, and then I'll just apply that to the other two critters. <laughs> Cool. Uh, well, let's see here. Well, this 16 was 10 and a 7, so that's another 6. So that's 22. I get minus 3. Uh, I don't know what the other two little weaklings armor are, though. I assume it's not 13. It, it's not 13. It's, it's 3. They have no armor. I don't even count oh, it. Okay. Uh, well, then that's 22 for that, that one. Uh, let's see here. 20 for that one. And so then the next, uh, the next one, uh, the last one was 19. So the last one took 19 damage. So two are dead, and one is extremely wounded. And the warrior died. And the last one we're gone is uh, uh, pretty hurt. And uh, that Hermagon that died, you just all blow up in big ball of green gas. <laughs> And it exploded with a loud thud, too. All right. Uh, I think it's your good round, dude. Dude, you guys are beast. Tech Marine, you're up. All right. We, uh, you caught me with my pants down here. So let me pull up my character sheet. All right. By the way, there's a picture of a heavy bolter and an assault cannon in the uh, chat. Yeah, I noticed. It'd be nice when we could start equipping assault cannons. 
I'm, right. I'm just saying, Boko, I think Boko thought the assault cannon was with the heavy bolt it looked like. So there's only... Okay, heavy bolt, and I don't want a heavy bolt it looks like. The... You kept describing minigun, and assault cannon's a minigun. Yeah. So, uh, I... So there's only one guy left, right? Yes, and he's got like two health. Okay, I'm just gonna, Let's I'm just gonna roll. I'm gonna roll my heavy bolter with fire selector and do a single shot. So it's what plus twenty. Uh, if it's a single shot, uh, then half range and no cover, so twenty. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Wow, oh, Jesus. Heavy. Well, the nice thing about the single shot is, is well, no, because you only can make one attack around. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> right into the wall. Uh, Celesta Steel, go! Yeah, not a minigun, though, no. It, it has a backpack-fed thing, and... and it Imagine a heavy it machine have a gun. Barrel. Heavy it, machine gun, right? It's, it's a heavy Anyways, machine gun. Not... It's your squad automatic weapon. It's a, it's a belt fed heavy machine gun. I get that. Yeah. I'm just saying it's not a mini. Right. There's there's a different Whatever. Weapon. It's a mini gun. It, imagine a 50, 50 caliber on. machine gun. Okay, move on. So it is the Moth's turn. Oh, is it? Sylvester Zeal. Did, did, the, did you attack the dude? Yeah, and oh, I you missed. missed. I got it. Okay. Yep, yep. Wait, we get a free 10 meter movement, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Alright. That means I can move 20 and a half action. Yay! I guess I just stab him. You have a chain sword, right? Nope. No? Okay. Not anymore. I dropped it. And we forgot to grab it. Oh, yeah. That was like two sessions ago, wasn't it? And I missed. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a fate point and reroll that. Because I'm in melee combat with this guy now. Oh, that's true. Okay, roll it. Okay, there we go. Yay, do, do your damage. 18 damage? Yep, well, Plus 17. Two yeah, it's, it's uh, 17, so he's dead. You, you stab him right in the head. Super, super dead. <laughs> Um, as he's dying, uh, as he's dying, he takes out a photo of his family and wipes away a tear as he fades to black. <laughs> no, 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 he, he, lets it, he lets out. He, he lets out. He he emits some sort of gas. Um, oh, that's included. that's all you know. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a helmet on. It does nothing. I'm gonna seal the right. metal suit. Isn't your helmet damaged though? I fixed it with a fate point last time. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. I fixed it as best you could. I guess we keep going then. Alright. Then we keep moving. Keep moving. Sweet, we're just moving.
All right, what are you guys doing as you're moving south? Just uh, watching for contacts, I guess. That's guys, what I'm uh, doing. I'll try to find for Probably check for uh, footprints or traps or whatnot. Anxious, you might want to turn around while you're moving. I'm uh, keeping an eye on behind us. I mean, those guys just popped up behind us, right? It's true. Yeah. Well, we would not. We can't see forward either. Right, but if you two are moving forward and I'm behind you two and I'm keeping an eye out behind us. Fair enough. It's standard squad movement. You guys, mm -hmm. are you guys checking for traps or uh, anything along the way as you guys are moving? Uh, yeah, I should. I'm still looking for the, uh, the trail of the dude we're following. I'm being a dummy. I'm not checking okay. for uh, traps. I'm just looking for enemies. Okay. So th what role is that? Hold up. Let's see. Tracking? Probably I'll do awareness. it too. We're at the corridor? Yeah, where? We're probably tracking. Tracking's in advanced. At the bottom. Okay, go ahead, roll. The uh, Dominguez, go ahead, roll for perception. Uh, all Yeah, all three of you guys roll for perception that just enter that area. All four of us? Uh, now, Antheus. All four now. Modifier? Remember, everyone gets a plus 20. Nah, uh, yeah, no? plus 20. Okay. I rolled a two. I'm good. Well, that's because of our helmet and our super senses. Uh-oh. Uh, so you guys, you guys hear lots of scurrying like before, like probably 10x from last time. All around you guys. Ambush incoming. Well, that's super weird. So when I'm looking towards Anseus, I can see his field of view, but when I'm looking away from him and it's not overlapping, I can't. Yep. That is weird. Same here. You know what's, you know what's even weirder? His that's is kinda, colored in my field of view, is it? Yeah, Anseus' field of view is, like, huge. Mine is, like... 10 meters in front of my face. Yep. Which is why I mentioned to look forward, but... Oh, well, I mean, if you had explained why, I wonder if you needed me to look forward. Ah. I didn't realize it was a technical issue of Roll20 that you needed me to look forward for. Uh, I don't think it's a technical issue. I think the DM's best. That's, it's not a technical issue. That's mm -hmm. on purpose. It's how the GM designed issue. it. Does that help everyone's vision forward okay. then? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think okay. it's because uh, the squad you leader right? all around. Okay. Except okay. me, and, I don't hear uh, scurrying. I don't hear uh, anything. Yeah. Yeah, moth. You see footprints. I should probably actually roll for tracking though. Right. Or someone roll for awareness. Oh, uh, never mind. You don't see that. Antius sees it, though. He's aware of the footprints. The trail is here, brothers. Also, they're all around us. Keep moving. The trail goes to our right. And as you guys get there, you see that the tunnel was collapsed and caved in. Ooh. So is there, is there anything we can do? Like, can we check the rocks to see if there's a way through? Or is it like completely just borked? Uh, as you look at it, it's, uh, the tunnel's completely collapsed in. Like, from, like, someone set off charges, you're looking around, looks like it just co wholly collapsed. Earth, rubble, debris, collapsed straight down. Brothers, perhaps we should find an alternate route. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, does this, like, lead on to 
more tunnel or like an outside area or what? Because there was a, you know, another entrance, you know, further up where we started the session that was also leading outwards. I remember right that one was completely collapsed as well. Was it? Come on, way up top here, top right. Well, the top yeah, left. Right, right, right yeah, right where yeah. we were at the beginning of the session. Yeah, that was also close. Top left, yes, that's the entrance. That's the entrance, yeah. It's a station that leads into the mag train station. And the underground well, you, station. You had that set as a, uh, like, a service tunnel thing last time. And then you told us mm -hmm. it was collapsed when we opened No, no, he's talking about the... You're talking about... He's talking about the thing way to the north. You guys started the session off. We followed the, the, the muddy footprints into the station. <laughs> yeah, where, where all the things are? Yeah. Oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a service station that's collapsed. Okay. That's a... It's... Okay. It's, it's collapsed. No, the first one you're mentioning is all the way to the north at the, at the beginning of the map where we were yeah. at. He, he wasn't here for that. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we got to keep going forward. You guys roll awareness checks as you're uh, moving along. Sure. Modifier. Okay. Well, we get a natural plus 20. 20? For helmet and being awesome. Oh, God. I like that green border on that terrible, terrible roll. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a roll 20 thing. Yep, I know. You rolled 100. At least the Dang rest it. of this rolled real good. You see my helmet bugs out. I don't see shit. Oh. That's oh, that's a critical that fail. 100? That's me. Neil yeah, Tyler. Yeah, right. Okay. Hold up. My my old 20 is being weird. I'll reload it. Give me a second. Yes, I'm a Zach on this. <laughs> the DNC is a beautiful opportunity. I'm just following oh, yeah, you guys by a sound. So is my helmet like screwed? At this point. Do I just lose all my vision? Okay, don't uh, give him ideas. <laughs> well, I'm I'm trying no, to have no, fun no. here. I'm not, to, roll... I'm not trying to I'm not trying to munchkin, I'm uh, trying to have fun. Uh, Alright. No no, go ahead, roll roll a toughness. Okay. Modifier. Uh, plus 10. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Good. Damn. Yeah, you're good. You're I'm good. tough as shit. Yep, you're good. All right. Cool. And you guys are going to the tunnel. Give me one second. I want to make a couple more rolls. Okay. Oh, um, way up here. Okay. Okay. As you guys are making your way down there, you guys hear more rustling in the back of you guys. And you hear uh, what sounds like uh, a lot of things breaking behind you. A lot of rubble, a lot of debris. You hear a roaring and screaming behind you. We better keep Just running keep forward moving. then, Just not look back. Moving. Yeah. Suddenly, Dory from Finding Nemo. Right? I got that reference. Who's watching the back? I mean, I would be constantly looking behind me, because I'm in the okay. rear, so I would be facing the rear, technically. But, you know, okay. as humans, we can look back and forth and move our heads around. But do you want me to give you an order? Go for it. Uh, no, I'm saying you can move your character look behind you. Can you see all those things above you? Oh, yeah, I see them now. They're here. Okay. I don't know. I think we should keep running. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I respond, with, I respond with, let me handle this. And I run straight to Anseus. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. 
And I fire the uh, heavy bolter. That looks like a horde to me. That's also half distance. Any modifiers? So there's plus 20. Uh, plus 40. So half distance, plus 20 for full auto, and plus 10 for uh, no cover. And another plus 30. They're using each oh, other cool. as cover. So plus 70. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think you're going to hit. <laughs> right. It's nine hits, right? Yeah. I would up to whatever your full auto okay. amount is. Yeah, so nine hits. Did you give me the damage total? A lot. A lot. Like, uh, yes. that's, over, that's like almost 200. How much? It's like almost 200 damage, Eight, just seven, looking at that at a glance. 19 plus 23. Oh, so two rolls there. Well, two, just one. Two actually. more. You just get one more hit. Because, uh, okay, yeah, two more hits. Fire. Two more hits. There's two tens, so two more hits. Well, rate of fire caps at ten, right? Well, yeah. Well, okay. right, these are righteous furies, though. These were additional. Oh, okay. Yeah, Damn. so he gets two more attack rolls. <laughs> uh, each of which is only one shot, but he gets two more attack rolls. Yeah, okay. A okay. uh, plus, plus 18. More you yeah, you get one more attack roll. Same modifier. And then another damage roll. Sweet. And then, of course, the 2d10s uh, for those, in case either one of those end up being a 10. Hey, no, he, did, he, just, okay. he just busted 200, 214. Okay, let's see. 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, he definitely got over 200 damage. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It's definitely three, over so 200 damage. Yeah, Boko added it so up. That. Yep, yeah. uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thir
let us, <laughs> as they say, get the hell out of here. Yep. Uh, you guys uh, checking for retreat, sir. Tactical retreat. Right. So you guys checking for exits at this point as you're yep. running along? Okay. Yeah. Awareness? We can, we can collapse the tunnel. Modifier on awareness check? Uh, 10. Don't forget, we get a natural twenty on awareness. Uh, plus twenty on awareness. We all well, succeeded so. anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I threw my belt of crack grenades into collapse the tunnel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? In the back. Okay. Go ahead and just roll for. Let's roll for damage. Let's do, let's, let's do that. Okay. Roll for damage first. Um. Where is it we can carry like what ten crack grenades? You said you had yeah. twenty to start with, and then oh, how 20. many? You use? What? Uh, you sure, we had twenty total. Ten crack. I'll assume a belt is ten, so let's go throw ten crack grenades. Okay. Please. Oh man. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot hey, of damage. Yeah. Hey, how much damage are we dealing now? Stealing into the tunnel to collapse it. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. 30. That's that's a lot All of right. damage. 30. Uh, I mean, it's like 40 with the first five. I wonder if we can sum that. That's a lot. Of so that tunnel, yeah, that tunnel completely collapses. Cool. Like, nice. uh... Where there once a tr where there once was a train, it's just a smoking crater, and rubble and debris. You guys hear the roar of monsters as it clashes on that uh, debris field you made, and some it's die for a while, but not for long. Yeah, and some Find die. <laughs> you bought us some yeah. time. Uh, the the mango, you actually did find an exit right here, or what appears to be a door of some sort. Found the door. I thought that looks suspicious. Uh, is the door like functional? Uh, are you trying to open it? I tried to open it. Oh. Okay. You see it opens. And you see dark tunnel, and then towards the end of that dark tunnel, some light. So at least possibly the outside. Brothers, there's. A light at the end of the tunnel. Don't follow it. I've been told that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe circumstance uh, dictates otherwise. Oh, I trust your light sensing judgment. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, wrong before. Wrong path. We've seen this somewhere before. Well, I have so many tiles. Hold up, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Just trying to find a good scenery for the exit. Yeah, this will work. Same scenery, do a different location, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, do you think we would make like tens of thousands? No. Some people are de dedicated. Yes. I am dedicated. I expect everything, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You guys just hear the roar and cacophony of uh, Tyranids in that tunnel kind of flowing away at that debris field that uh, Yelma. It starts to fade away as you guys are exiting out into the uh, ravine ahead. Go ahead, do awareness. Or not, well, perception all, y'all. Right, well, awareness is the skill. Oh, okay, That's, is that the skill? Okay, yeah. awareness. I'm used to D&D, &D, so, awareness. Awareness plus 20? Yeah. Or are you giving us an extra plus 20, or a standard plus 20? This is a standard plus 20. Okay. Okay. I failed anyway, but barely. Uh, let's see, dude in Apothecary, you guys hear distant, in the distance, last fire, 
Last gunfire your way in the distance. Swap your character under chat. <laughs> way in the distance. North, south, east, west. Do we know general distance? It, um, or, or, or direction, general, I mean. General direction is uh, more or less back the way you came, but not to the tunnel. It's out, it would be out of your way. So north on the map. Let's head towards that weapon's fire. Do we uh, lock this door out? Because we know there's a ward in there, we'd want them to follow. I mean, we already there. collapsed the tunnel, that's going to slow the them down significantly. Well, the I don't think locking the door is really going to help much. I mean, sure. <laughs> he, he, he locked the door! The door. <laughs> well, I guess yes. we're going to give up. Let's go back, guys. Let's leave this planet. He locked the door on us. <laughs> uh. more, more like welding the door or have some tool to block the entrance. So, it's will be even harder for them to come out. They burrowed through the walls. Yeah. Fair enough. We collapsed the tunnel. Like, that's that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, so let's head towards that weapons fire, then. Yep, let's go. Double time it. Up, up. All right. Oh, I somehow super uh, made it above. <laughs> oh, yeah, where's your character? Oh. Top left of the screen for some reason. Oops. Uh, we should probably get moved. There we go. Yeah. Ah, Zane just teleporting me around. I don't like it. All right. Where is the... No, yeah, that's what I want, actually. That sucks. I, I they didn't save this encounter, but all right. So in the distance, guys, or Moth, and the rest of the team, you guys see Imperial Guardsmen uh, in a firefight or, you know, taking on uh, Tyranids. Can we tell if Mongos are in is in that team? Again? Can we tell if Mongos is in that team? If who? Mongos. Majos. The person we're far targeting. Majos. Going after. Oh. Okay. Majos. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude and Boko both like to mispronounce everything. It's not by choice. <laughs> Right. Okay, you don't like to do it. It's just something that happens. Well, Thomas does it on purpose. Sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, you just see them fighting, uh, battle with, uh, Hermagons and Termagons. We have to save as many Imperial Guardsmen as we can. Or do you assign right. them, Andrew? I was gonna say, what faction are you? <laughs> like, what chapter are you from? Iron Hands, but I also have forty-six fellowship. But that doesn't mean you want to save Imperial Guard. Oh. Yeah, fellowship is just your ability to communicate, like socially. Let's use those Imperial Guardsmen to buy us some time. <laughs> we need to save as many as we can. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Snakes are a little bit more friendly towards people. The Imperial Guardsmen will give us a tactical advantage in this battle, but not much of one. Alright, we rolling for initiative? Yeah, you guys Brother. you guys can roll up to the event before you guys do initiative. And because remember you're, this you're, you're is not the in command. Yeah, you're not in direct combat currently. Oh. You you're just observing on the on the hillside. Uh, down in the valley, ravine below, uh, guards been fighting for their lives, holding off against uh, Tyranids. So, what does our squad leader command us to do? It's me. It's me. Me. Majos. 
in there in that period. Uh, is Majos in, in with the uh, Imperial Guards? If he's uh, not in there, they might have seen him or know who he went. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. going to want to go down there regardless. First, um, I would like to try and identify the ranking officer that's down there, like a commissary or anything. If okay. I could. Go for it. Uh, Awareness. Okay. Any bonuses past my normal 20? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I have Imperial lore, right? So what would that give you? Another oh. 10? What's your Imperial lore at? Um, I mean, we're all trained in it. Wouldn't okay. wouldn't the Imperial lore come into effect after the awareness roll, not during? You have to find that person, then identify him. Yeah. But that's hey, true. Uh, okay. Dude, swap it. to your character under the uh, thing. Uh, do you well, want me one, to, could, one could also argue the awareness roll shouldn't be necessary since we already know they're there. Well, I'm looking for the commanding officer, though. Not necessarily their existence yeah, is yeah. people shooting at stuff. True. But like but... somebody giving orders, you know. Right. So, like I said, um, you're trained in it. So, well, okay, plus 30 then. Since you're trained in it. Trained is plus 10, right? Uh, well, I mean, you said 30. So, 30. boom. 30. Okay. Boom. No, I mean, plus 20, plus the additional 10 with the Lord, plus 30. Yeah, okay. plus 30 uh, roll. Yeah, you see a commissar. Let's see, let me give him an identifier rank right there. <clears throat> you see a commissar, the traditional hat, and giving orders, and him having a pistol, shooting that shit. Cool. How large does the horde look? Endless, or like we could actually stand here and shoot some stuff down and get a moment of peace afterwards? Go ahead and roll for it. What do you want me to roll? Uh, awareness. Let's do awareness. Plus 20. Okay. Or on tactical. Top my, on top of my yeah. normal 20? Uh, no, 20 standard. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like an endless swarm, but it looks like a fairly large horde. As in, we could take it out this session and then be able to talk to these people not in the midst of combat. Kind of large or what you see on the screen oh okay so that's it okay um yeah so brothers go down there let's wipe out this horde agree in the majors. I start running it yeah okay let me roll yeah let me roll they're just acknowledging your presence as they soon as you guys roll up. Okay. He's going to get positioned and then roll for initiative. All right. So you have to select your token and then do, uh, do this. Other than that, 10. Whatever your plus positive is. We mean select our token and then do what? Oh, it's a jelly moth fire so, select your select your token and then you do slash roll uh 1d 10 plus whatever your thing uh, and then do ampersand <laughs> tracker and, oh. tracker has to be in the brackets okay, so. i see yeah dominego you need your um just ignore the backslash and you'll get it yeah Ah, use the backslash as the escape character. Smart. Smart! I'm a programmer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, okay. I'm not a programmer, but I know about the escape characters. I guess technically I am a programmer, but, like, I haven't really written any. Programs. You guys already put your uh, modifiers down on your characters? For the turn order? Uh, I don't think it works. It it no, 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 no. Get rid of the uh, backslashes in that, and then it'll work. Okay. Well, I have a couple people twice. It's really weird. Oh, I got removed. Oh, go ahead and hey. add, add yourself right. again, Moth, because I was just deleting duplicates on my end.
Yeah, I got a duplicate. Uh, here. Uh, okay. We you see yourself disappear. Just re-add yourself. And I'm trying to just remove duplicates. So Domangus, uh, you go first. The mango. Yeah, the mango. I don't see I everyone in the list. I guess. Antis, what did you get? Did you get a six again? What? Oh no, that's a duplicate. Okay, I was like, oh shoot. So I've rolled three times. My first one was an eight. My second one was a thirteen. Yeah. And then the one that finally got me on the tracker was a twelve. I don't know which one you want me to go with. Or should go the one where you can see yourself? Okay, then that's a twelve. I'm also 12. That's fine. I, I think I disappeared. Uh, yeah, roll it 15. again then. Oh, roll, roll it again. I'll, I'm just going to delete the, your duplicate now. You did 1d10 plus. It, oh, so sorry. Add, it's not, it wasn't selected. I mean, and I got, didn't put plus 5. got a nat 10 for initiative <laughs> again. Go. And again. God, what you're playing it? with loaded dice when oh, it comes oh, to initiative. Domingos, go. Hold up, why, how did I get two, ten, three times, essentially? It's random. Random, but you, you got it. Well. Probability yeah. means that, like, you have a slimmer chance each time, but you still, you still got it. Okay. Well, this seems suspicious, but okay. No. I'll use the heavy bolter against, against the most clustered horde, or... Closer armor guns, which I can see from top right of the map. Yep. Yeah, if you can see it, you can shoot it. So okay. no, so heavy bolter, so plus twenty. No cover, plus ten. Yep. Half range is that? That's plus ten, right? Yeah, uh, half ten full auto. Another plus ten. So. So that's forty in total. Yep. This is normal. Okay. Okay, see, that's 20 damage, Let's see. What, what the, oh. Uh, you rolled a 9 in the 3d10, so does that mean you get to do another one? Only if he was using Hellfire rounds. Minus okay. 10. Otherwise it's, otherwise it's only 10s that give you an hey. extra hit. One, this guy it. died. And then this guy, was that, minus 22. Yeah, those two are hurting. <clears throat> right, that's all you got. Huh? I need my turn. Okay, uh, Hermogons are going. So this one's going to go over here. Going to attack the guardsmen. It misses. I wonder if there's a way to... Okay, cool. There is. Because, like, God, I really hated that. It's like... Okay, cool. Well, you really hate that he just impelled himself of his own talent? And that's fine. No, no, no. Nothing like that. Um, that the uh, character sheet was tied to the roll 20. I couldn't get out of the window. And then I saw the little pop-up thing. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, he missed. He's going for the guardsman. He, oh my god, these guardsmen might just live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he hits. Oh. Guardsman is super dead. Eviscerated. Okay. This it's one's just a flesh wound. He'll be fine. Right, this one's going to attack. It's Bart Hart no longer beats. Super dead. Two are He's dead. Spare, right? I don't think they have spear, uh, spare hearts. Uh, Mava, are you world. are you in melee with that Hermagon? Yep. I'm gonna try and dodge. Okay. Doge. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna try and parry. Go for it. Forget how to do that because I haven't done it. It's weapon skill. 
Alrighty. Throw weapon skills. Was there, a, was there a bonus to it or anything? Not unless you had something that gave you a bonus. If you're I using like it. a balanced weapon, it would give you plus 10. Hey, what's your damage reduction to that? 20? Well, pin 3. Well, where does it hit? Oh, yeah, where does it hit? Uh, uh, it hits at location 20? 20? 24. At 20, so... Yeah, 24. Uh, right arm, damage reduction of 20. So, I take 3 wounds. Okay, so you don't take... Okay, cool. Where is it? I'll have to look at the factory. It's either every point or every 10 points. Or every 5 points, something like that. I'll have to look at it. I won't be murderous. You guys suffered enough that uh, death tunnel. What do you say? The death tunnel, you suffered enough. Yeah, like, I only have five... I essentially have five hit points left because I'm at, like, uh, something like 17 wounds out of 22. This is the first damage I've taken. Hammergon's going to fire at an Imperial Guardsman. 22 minus it. 17 is very often five. He's going to fire the Imperial Guards, man. They're almost done. He misses. He, uh, this one's going to fire the Imperial Guards, man. The guy's in cover, so... What is that? Well, full cover? Minus 20? Or is it minus 10? I think it's minus 20. 10, I think, is partial. 20 is full. Okay. He misses. And that's all the Hermagons. Ansys, go. Uh, sweet. Um... Ooh, jeez. Cool. Uh, I'm going to load off in the upwards direction. Uh, specifically at the Hermagons first. The one the, the one that uh, killed yeah, your that, friend here? Yeah, that guy first. Um, I guess I'll do a full auto blast. Okay. Uh, would he be in cover? No, he, he went around, he moved around that cover to hit this guy in melee. Sweet. So then a plus 40. Okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, he's super dead. Good. Uh, yeah, he's mega dead. So and that's 30 damage absorbed with his HP. So then two more rounds can go against another target behind him. Uh, sweet. Then uh, probably prioritize that guy. Uh, let's go. Okay. And then the turn we got behind him. Okay, so that's eight damage absorbed. And then the last one's going to get hit for how much? 16? Yeah. 16, okay. Now, if that doesn't kill him, I do have a 10, so I can get another shot. It does not kill him. But okay. it definitely hurts him. Well, righteous fear. Okay, go for it. Hits. Okay. Okay, now kill him. <laughs> well, that's 14. He dead. Sweet. You can also roll. Yeah, I've got, you know, the, the 40 10s. Bam. Okay. So. Uh, Iron Hand, your go. All right. So I'm going to let's see. I'm going to full auto at this guy right here with my start as Bolter with Fire Selector. So it's what plus plus thirty, plus forty, because he's out in the open. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, uh, where where are you at? So I am, I am right here. This uh, is me. There, there is that rock in between you, I believe. Okay, so it's not out in the open. So what is that, plus 20 for full auto? It's partial cover. It's also he this guy. All right, so what's the final uh, calculation there? Yeah, I know it's open. plus 20 for full auto. Do I get yeah, a reduction? If it's half range, it's another plus 10. Okay. Uh, then whatever his cover is, if it's partial cover, that's it's minus partial. 10. It's partial. So it'll be, okay. it'll be. Okay, so then your total's plus 20 then. Okay, here we go. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I just barely hit him. One hit. All right, roll for 
damage. 18. Nice. Then roll a d10 to try and get better. Loop. Uh, and it is one point better. <laughs> it is one point better. It's a 19 with 5 pen. I just calculated it all goes through because they don't. They have, again, three armor, so. And no toughness bonus. It's. <laughs> so they just. They eat shit and you shoot them. Nice. I meant to do equals 24 there. Hey, Sylvester Zeal, your go. Stab the guy in front. Of him. Okay, go for it. Let me look at that doctor trait again. By the way, this guy's dead, Boko. Right here. You can see this who I was shooting at. I'll be right back. I need to go to He's not dead. He's. I uh, did the damage. He's not dead. Oh, oh, he's not dead. Okay. Yeah, you, you. It wasn't 20 points of damage. Uh, they have. 30 HP, Hermagon. Hermagon. It wasn't 30 points of damage. Yeah, it was 18. Or 19. So, he's hurting. He's missing whatever you shot off. Uh, let's see. Uh, so it looks like Toxic Trait, you just... If you get in contact, you just do a toughness save every time. And it deals 1d10 damage. Oh, well. Just... Now I know. I was like, how, how did that one work again? Alright. That's oh, the nice killed? thing about. Uh, yep, I miss. Okay. It's the nice thing about RPGs like this. The rules are malleable. Just a double edged sword. Right, I was just texting the to Toxic Trait because, I mean, it saved uh, Tesseract. Or not Tesseract. Saved uh, Yamag here from eating shit, but. Let's see. Fire. One of them horribly misses. Let's see. <laughs> They're in melee. They're not going to fire. Uh, they will... No, they don't even have... Yeah, they, they will not fire. Okay. That one went. This one's going to fire. Hits. And he does... 14 damage. Uh, he's going to hit this guy. He's going to outright kill this guy. So he did. Okay. Next Imperial Guardsman goes. He's going to fire. Attack. Oh, okay. You know that that uh the righteous fury stuff to get an extra hit. Yeah. With our death watch training, we don't need to re-roll the weapon test. It just hits again. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah. One of the imperial guardsmen hits the tank in front of him. <laughs> it just starts smoking. Uh, okay. The next imperial guard's gonna fire. Uh, he misses and goes long. Okay, he went. He's going. Uh, yeah, they just suck. Okay, next guy's going. <laughs> They're guardsmen, of course they suck. Yep, and the next guy, the last guy's going. Yep. So they got one out of all those guys, sixteen troopers. They got one. They got one kill on a wounded target. Nice. Now it is Domingos. Dominego. Dude, you ready, bro? Dude, bro. I'm Where back. did you men pick? I'm back. You were gone? It's your turn. Yeah, yeah sorry. Okay, what I miss? It's your turn. That's... Uh, the Imperial Guards went, they killed one. Uh, out of all 16 of them firing, they got one. Killed one. <laughs> um, one of them hit the tank, and the tank is smoking now. Yep. Interesting. Well, these guys are probably lost cause at this point. Um, am I in combat with this? Yeah. He's in melee. Melee range. He's meleeing the Imperial Guardsman, but you can melee with him. Let's see. I get, do I get an uh, extra modifier if I shoot this close, or... 
you're firing into melee, you're gonna probably hit the guardsman, but do you, does your guy care if he kills a guardsman or not? That's the question. Probably. Keep in mind, bolter rounds are explosive. I mean, mm. I mean, does the space marine honestly care about Imperial Guardsmen? Lore wise, they shouldn't because Imperial Guardsmen are just cannon fodder to them. Ends on your chapter. It that does. That's true. And for example, Salamanders would stop it. Or would do everything to protect that Imperial Guardsman. Oh, what chapter is your guy, Domingo? Hands. What's up? Iron hands. Iron hands. So your guy would not give a shit if he lived or died. So go ahead. If you want to fire at him with your machine gun, go for it. Sure your iron hand? Yeah. Okay. All right. You might fire away, brother. Name. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh... Yeah, I'll... I'll fire the uh, heavy blaster. Heavy bolter, yeah. Blast away. Modifier. Uh, plus forty. If you're going full auto. Yeah. All right, go for it. And let me see if those guys, because they're in the line of fire. Let's see. Did you do kill that thing? Let's see. He rolled a 10 on one of those, so he gets an extra hit, right? Oh, he, he gets eviscerated. <laughs> and the one behind him. <laughs> oh, uh, man. He, he also eats shit and die. So. Uh, but the Termogod's super dead. I'm going to roll another one and aim at this guy. Go for You've it. already done your attack action. What do you mean? Well, oh, I have axe rate plus 10. I, true. But, all right. What, take, what's going on, Yelmug? No, just, just go. You're good. Okay. Okay, uh. Dead. Nice. Okay, uh, that was your turn. Yeah. What oh, God's going? Okay. First time we got, it's gonna attack the Imperial Guardsman. Misses. The next one is gonna attack the Imperial Guardsman. Misses. Uh, the Hermogon. Don't worry, the Space Marine will take care of those Guardsmen for you. This <laughs> 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 Hermogon's gonna attack you, Moth. For 27 damage. Unless you, you wish dodge. A dodge, yeah. use a fate point. I'm going to try and dodge. Okay. Or parry, you should say. Go for it. Is there any bonus to parries? I keep forgetting. Only if your weapon is balanced, or if you have some trait otherwise. I don't think we have any traits for that, so. What does acrobatics do? If you're doing uh, acrobatics, like flipping or something. Something that requires agility or... Like, I'm going to jump off a monkey branch. Oh, or... I, I think that's, that's a thing. skill thing for whatever reason. I don't know why it's here. Alrighty. Hey. You blocked that. <sighs> Okay, now the other hammer got in front of you, also going to attack you. Now I'm going to try and dodge. Okay, he's going to hit. Okay, go ahead, do your dodge. Oh, what? These are interesting rolls. Oh, man. So how much of that 25 do you absorb? Uh, where does it hit? Uh, it hits 24. 24? Uh, I'm going to use a fate point to... Make him reroll re that. Okay. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, can we re? Uh, yeah. Burn, burn burn my page. Page. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna get hit in the head. <laughs> All right, you can spend another fate point to make him reroll. Spend yeah. more. How many of you guys burned so far? How many of you guys have left? I have three out of three this session. So I got one. I still have, I still have two left. 
Okay. I have three total, but I want to use it for right. this one. All right. He, he burned, he missed. Nice. Oof. Okay, that's... I think it's all the hermit guns. Uh, yeah, that's all that's left. Okay. Nancy's go. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to charge and make an attack against... Uh, this guy. Go for it. No, I know charge gives me a bonus, but I don't remember how much of a bonus it gives me. Also, I'm flanking. Does that give me a bonus? Yes. Yes. Let me look at the bonus. I think it's like for every one is well, plus 10 or something like that. Or Yeah, I think every, every one is plus 10, but um, I don't know how much the charge bonus is. Uh, I, think, I thought it was a plus 10 as well. I could have this one is a plus 10. You might get a plus 20. Uh, it is plus 10. Okay, that's what I that's what I assumed. Okay, so plus 20. Okay. Okay, do your damage. Okay, it... It is not dead unless you can deal four more points of damage. Uh, I doubt it. I rolled a 9, so I can't roll any better than what I rolled. Okay. So that's as much damage you can get out of that blade. That is as much damage. Unless I roll a 10, that is as much as I can do. Okay. You can spend a fate point to make a 10. How much damage will they give you? One more point. Okay. So not worth it. That's right. what I said. I mean, it would give me a righteous fury, but. If you wanted to spend the fate point to do that, go for it. I mean, sure. I mean, what else am I going to use these fate points for? So I'll spend right. Righteous Fury and try and hit him again. All right. Cool. Okay, do your damage. Okay. It dies. On death. It doesn't do anything. Or, uh, Moth too. Hold up. It does do something to Moth. Eighteen. Pen zero. Pen zero. So it does nothing? Oh, you absorb eighteen? Oh, cool. Yeah, I absorb cool. twenty. Sweet. Must yep. be nice to have a high toughness. Yep. Is that like an explosion or what was that? Yeah, it's like an explosive gas. Mutated like carapace. Oh. So it, it's a gas? Yeah. It's it's fart like, gas. It, it, it exploded. Like, you know, Bainley from StarCraft. Okay. It, it would do nothing to us. We have right. sealed environmental suits. We're immune to environmental gas attacks. Period? As long as we have our helmet on and it works, yeah. Yep, I'm just letting, nice. letting you be aware of what it, what it does. That's all. all. Right. Uh, which one died? Uh... The one to the left of you. This one. Yeah. Um, who's up next then? Me. Once the turn timer yeah. ticks over. Here we go. <clears throat> so rather than attacking, uh, what I'd like to do is check on this tank here because it's smoking. And... Uh, Probably do a tech use to see if it needs repairs. If that's right. good with you. Yeah, plus 20. It's going to be your turn, right? You yeah. your turn doing that? Yep, okay. yep. Plus 20? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, you know it's smoking because there's a giant laser laz round that went through it. Uh, it is obviously long since been able to function. These guys obviously use it for cover. Oh, okay. And just parked here. So it's smoking because he shot a last round through it. Can I try to repair it to make it functional, or do I not have enough time to do that? Not enough time, okay. and it's a rust bucket. Gotcha. It's quite literally a rust bucket. Anyways, uh, see, you'll go. Oh, I'm going to try and stab this guy again. Okay. I like that. 
deal damage. Ooh. Nice. Righteous Fury. Okay. Deal damage. Did you get another damage roll? Uh, that? damage roll. Roll damage roll, yeah. Well, it's another attack roll. Another attack roll, yeah. Go for oh, okay. it. Okay. As, as I found out, with our Death Watch training, we auto confirm those tens as another attack roll, so it's just more damage. Oh, okay. Ah. Go for it. Do we? Yeah, Where as long that? as it as long as it's against aliens. Yeah, that is. is okay. Watch training how much, how much damage? Another nineteen. Hey. Two pen. That's a lot. And as it dies. What section uh, was that bit of a uh, fun info under? Uh, Death Watch under Death Watch training talent. So it's a talent, okay. Yeah, okay. talent, Death Watch. Uh, mercenary cool. guards go. They're gonna disengage. And then the next, they're gonna shoot. Oh my god, that's gonna make so many things even more dead. <laughs> oh, he hit. Okay. Deal 10 damage. <clears throat> hey, that's something. Yeah, this should put in perspective how powerful you are, by the way. So these, uh, this is the stat straight from the book um, for these guys. Uh, Guardsman's going to shoot. No, it's 10. Misses. Uh... He's going to move and then shoot. Uh, super misses. Uh, he's going to move and shoot. Man, these guardsmen suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's going to come out and he's going to come out. Walk. And we have plus three and ballistic. Okay, so he can come over here and he's gonna shoot. Same okay. roll. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, okay, so. He's just gonna run this way. He's gonna run this way. And that's their turn. So that, they did 10 damage, dude. All those guys did 10 damage. Jeez. So that put that should give you a uh, how badass you guys are compared to base. Gonna do half move further to the right, and then use the heavy bolter against the nearest hermagon. Okay. So that's plus forty, or yeah. that's they're in cover, right? Uh, yeah, minus ten. So or thirty in total. Plus thirty, thirty. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. What'd you get? Tiny three. Ooh, so okay, close. so all these guys die. Oh, or no. Fate point. Fate point. Fate, you're going to fate point it? Yeah, I'm going to use mine. Okay, go for it. Okay. Oof. Better. Roll for damage. And then, hold up. And then those extra D10s? He yep. didn't get and any then, 10s. Oh. He's going to try it. No, no, he can roll D10s. I see. Oh, he, he tries to jump out of the way. He jumps into the line of fire and explodes. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> that's him trying to dodge. <laughs> that's a fucking critical fail. Yep. Because he was kind of in the line of fire. It's like, ah, eh, he should do a dodge check. And 100. And he jumps into the fire Hits around, explodes into a ball of blood and guts. Just a big miss. And then, of course, the other uh, the other Hermagons are dead. Yeah, that will stay lally. Serve you right. Yeah, I think you did more damage to the Imperial Guardsmen than, than, the, than the actual Tyranids. <laughs> you killed one more uh, than the Tyranids did. <laughs> So they're all grouping together. Okay. We're out of combat now, right? Yep. Out of combat. They're just collecting their dead. Gary, if you have a moment, 
I was damaged in our previous encounter in the tunnels. Now that we have We're a moment, kind of running, though. So. I know, but uh, now that we are uh, in a moment to spare, could you patch up this wound? Sure, I also need to heal myself, too. Do you By have the way, um, toughness or any of those uh, yeah, bonuses to make it your wounds treated as yeah. light wounds? Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, how much damage have you taken so far? I picked hey, five. Have, yeah, uh, do a toughness check for me real quick. Sorry, Eight. how much damage have you taken in total so far? Five. Yeah, and do toughness check for me. Are you still quick? like that? Yes. Who's doing the toughness check? You are. Me? Yes. Why? Uh, any bonuses on this toughness check? No. No bonuses. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're going to be taking... Three wounds. Ow. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Well, you just healed four wounds, so... The GM has spoken. Yes. Well, I just took three more, so can you heal me again? <laughs> uh, if that's a new instance of damage, yes. It is. It is. It is. Just like last time with Tesseract. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, I feel slightly better. Thank you, brother. Sure. I think I'm going to heal myself then. Also, when you're done, perhaps you could heal me, because I'm three-quarters dead, and I have been for a I while. I already did as much as I could for you. Oh, uh, okay. Hold up. Let's see. One second. I can, I can only heal an instance of damage one time. All right, you're good. Okay, right. got it. You're, you're good test rack for now. And that's failed, too. Damn. You know, I don't know if it's I can only heal an instance of damage one time, or I can only get healing on an instant damage, or an instance of damage one time. Right. I, do, in, uh, I don't know if I can re-roll failed rolls or not. Right. You can do a med check on uh, Ancy's here, since he took uh, damage like Tesseract like last time. No, he did already. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. I did roll a six on the first medical check on six degrees of success, I should say. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yep, uh, he had the same affliction that uh, Tyson had as well. Tyron. Tyron. It's funny because that was the generated name. And if I change one letter, it could, it could have been a uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson reference, my whole character. <laughs> I decide not to do that, though. To me, it's still a reference. I mean, I guess. It's a legally safe knockoff of uh, the popular astrophysicist. Hey, so what are you guys doing? You guys uh, won the day. You guys see the guardsmen collecting their, their bodies, putting them in a pile. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fascinated with this tank here. I want, I want to see what I can do to get it in working order. For it, give you a plus forty. All right. Do -do 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 -do. The, uh, the commissar. Okay. Oh. Uh, you, you can definitely tell it's a pile of damn rust buckets. Yep. Uh, let me give you that commissar. Nothing to be done about it. It's, it's a literal pile of buckets that have been rusted through. <laughs> in the tank. Was, it's just in the shape of a tank. Yeah. Right. Actual rust buckets. Yeah, yeah, that's a adequate description, huh? Okay. This isn't a tank. It doesn't even look like a tank on closer inspection. Okay, so you're asking Nodding that, uh, in, uh, with ignoring him in mind, uh, I speak to the Commissar. Commissar, have you seen a tech priest recently? And he kind of looks at you, he's like, no, I've actually been stationed uh, up north trying to stem the tide from these guys. Uh, we had to fall back. We lost uh, about 90% of our forces already, where all that remains. Ooh. 
Did you retreat uh, through the tunnels? Uh, he tells you no. He came through the valley. Hmm. He was he was helping uh, uh, people evacuate. But no tech marine, or no tech priests, because the mages would be a tech priest. Cool. But he was a biologist. Well, that's still a tech priest. They're all Adeptus Mechanicus tech priests. They just have different, right. you know. Um, so I'm going to want a little bit of clarification on something, Poco. Mm -hmm. if I could get it. So, under Medicaid for First Aid, which is the stuff I've been doing, it says a successful test will remove damage performing First Aid as a full round action. First Aid can only be applied to each wound once and as a full round action by you and the patient. Would you say that's only one time that it can actually heal damage, meaning you can reroll failed tests? until you get damage healed or is it you just get one roll per wound or per well, instance of a round is usually about eight eight seconds so you could probably let me see probably spend Not some eight time seconds. is it uh, what is a round i thought it was it's about like eight, three three seconds so yeah you can re-roll that and just spend some time uh doing medical i imagine if, it's, if it says it's, it's is it per round it said is that the wording you can do that uh, per wound. No, it says first aid may only be applied to each wound once and is a full round action. Okay, so you get as many tries as there are wounds. And then uh, what's the cooldown timer for that? Does it give you any kind of indication what that is? Well, full round action, so I'd imagine it's once per turn. So you don't get wounded until you start taking critical damage, I think, right? Uh, those are those are wounds. Otherwise, it's just damage. Or is it yeah, the other wounds way are your your health, the actual stuff you get yeah wounded with. So, so wound. But go ahead. The the way it's saying wound here is not each health point. It's each time you take physical damage, then you have that as a wound that reduces your wound total by that amount. So, say you take three damage in a hit, that wound. Is three damage. So my question is, can I keep healing that wound until I heal some damage on it, or do I only get the one try to heal that wound? Time. I think you only get the one try because it's. Well, that's if we're in combat. First aid. Yeah, but. Well Otherwise, the uh, the only other type of healing I can do is extended care, and that is over the course of days and weeks. Okay. So you heal one instance of wound damage. So since we're not in combat, I can say okay. you can do medical to to heal it. Sure. Uh, within reason. Um, yeah. So so and what I'm around. I'm I'm not asking for the in combat thing because I can only do that once per round I'm, in combat anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to equate if, time to it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not i'm not it's not the time thing it's uh okay say say you stab somebody in the shoulder and you did some damage mm -hmm. and then you bandage it up the bandaging it up would be the healing bit and you can only do the healing bit once so i would imagine that if, it's only for if you're in combat yeah, or, yeah it says no. per round so is that or is that once indefinitely because that wouldn't make any sense if it's per round so i'm gonna say you can keep doing it until you succeed it's it's per wound not per round per wound per okay okay say you stab somebody three times each one of those is three separate wounds sure I mean, put three bandages on it okay i see your point uh yeah i guess just i guess I the guess question i'm asking is if i fail a medic test does that mean I put the bandage on it? It didn't do anything. The bleeding didn't stop, or I would imagine so. Yeah. Or can I just keep going until it actually stops the bleeding? Well, we're out of we're out of combat. We're out of combat, so I'd say it just takes time at that point. So you keep trying until it succeeds. Yeah. That's 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 what I was thinking behind it. I was just trying to equate it to time. So say it's he said it's three seconds. So so if it takes you like thirty rolls, you wasted a minute doing it. 
right? Or right. three minutes or whatever, so. Then I guess I'll keep matching us up. Yeah, please do. I'm okay. in. Uh, but yeah, the Commissar asks, um, uh, when is the counterattack happening? He's to asking save. us. Yeah, to save the to save the planet. Okay, so to save to save. Oh, oh. Yeah. when it's our yeah. counterattack. I thought he was when asking we, when the when bugs are, are counterattacking. No, no, no. When oh. are we counterattacking to drive these uh, Tyranids off this world? That is above our. Uh, that is beyond our current orders. Um, Hang on, what is our orders? I want to check that. Tell them the, oh, you're what? not going to tell them the fate. I'm going to check our journal and no, our mission briefing. Not at all. You guys have, you guys, you guys know you have five hours until the main horde comes and annihilates everything in this area and the whole planet will be consumed. Yeah. That you know. Yeah. So he's we asking. To tell him that. So that's up to you if you want to not tell him or not. Another four healing to you, Cobra. Wait, how much, how much, how many wounds do you have? So I'm at 19 wounds. And my health, or no, 17 wounds. My health is 22, so I have five hit points left. So you are heavily damaged. Yes. yes. He's heavily damaged, so that's one more healing to you. Then. I'm like three quarters dead. Yeah. I, I can't really do much to fix heavy wounding in the field. Okay. I can just sort of lightly patch you up and then you're... That's about it. Yeah, and I think you already did that while we were in combat. Yeah, I, I did have one failure on that. <clears throat> Because yeah, you're having another one, you're essentially only going to heal your toughness bonus every week until oh, you're yeah, slightly damaged, and okay. then it's your toughness bonus every day. Got I can also apply extended heal into him while he's doing that. Oh, uh, what else did you do, Moth, with your healing stuff? <clears throat> uh, what do you mean? Because you know he, he, you guys were doing something with the poison last round. You took some vials out. Yeah. Okay. I thought I fixed his poison last time. Yep. You did the same now, thing with, uh, or did you do the same thing with, um... I didn't do yield mug yet, which is what I'm going to Probably do. should. And that's a fail. Yeah, okay. That's on yield mug, so yield mug, he's able to ex do the same thing. He extracted a couple vials of that toxin from you. I guess yeah. on the last of his wounds. Are you still wounded? Well, yeah, because I got wounded and then he failed the second heal roll. So I'm technically still wounded from those toxins. Okay, so that last one should have healed another four of the toxin damage then, I guess. Okay. Along with you removing the stuff. Sweet. Then I'm back to full health. Yes. Uh, hold up. Let's cool. see. One second. On um, gotta do one roll for Tesseract here. Okay, you're good. Ah. Okay. Doing them GM rolls. I, I am. I'm. Um. So, are you gonna tell them about the fate of what's gonna yeah, happen? Yeah, yeah check out our it. mission briefing. <laughs> Commissar, okay. this uh, this planet is lost. There will be no counterattack. However, we are on a mission to find a Magus that has the key to defeating this splinter of the Hive. If we uh, can find him, we will save more Imperial worlds and, uh, and make the sacrifice worth it. Uh, he said whatever works in the God Emperor sees fit to grass in part. Uh, he, he joins you guys in your quest. That he does. Nice. The Emperor protects. All right. Uh, all right. Um, and you're certain you've not seen any Majos or Tech Priests or any band of wounded individuals within, I don't know, the last six hours? I don't know how long it's been since they, like, crashed. Uh, let's see. You guys are about... Uh, they crashed uh, a couple hours before you guys did, so it'd be about... Uh, nine hours prior. Ooh, quick Where's question, Dave? Cobra. What's your toughness bonus? My toughness bonus is four, because my toughness is 47. 
47. Okay, but times three. Oh, jeez. Well, my unnatural toughness is three yeah, or whatever. Your whatever. unnatural toughness would apply to your toughness bonus, making it uh, 12. Oh. So technically, you're not heavy damaged. You're lightly damaged. So... Because uh, right, heavily okay. damaged is twice your toughness bonus. Does a natural toughness actually include in that? Uh-huh. Well, I'm... I want to remind you that, like, I've taken... I have 22 wounds total before yeah, I go critical. 24 is your heavily damaged. Oh, so... Unless I literally go into the negative by two points, I'm not heavily damaged. Yup. <laughs> God damn! No, well, well, you don't become heavily damaged until you're critically damaged, and even then by two points. Okay, so you can still <laughs> heal me then. Yep. So add another, like... What, I heal you three times? Add Something like that. nine healing? Hey. So nine, nine healing, that's what... Uh, plus nine HP then. Oh, yeah. your uh, intelligence bonus is under. Uh, your intelligence bonus is a three. And I feel uh, that. No, my guys. intelligence bonus is a four, but he he I healed him three oh, times. So right, that's right. another three on top yeah. of that. Each. Go ahead, roll a toughness check there as well after you do all that healing. Okay. I don't know why my health bar is glitched or something. It's not updating. All right. Uh. No Toughness modifier. check? No modifier? Okay. Alright. Uh oh. It's a poison or toxin or anything like that. We should get like an additional take plus 20 on it, but that wouldn't have saved you there. Yeah, so you take additional 9. So I'm back down to 5. Nice. <laughs> nice. You gonna mention this? I still don't know you're wounded more. No, yeah, I'm... you're not gonna mention that you're uh... taking damage from poison because yeah. I don't uh... know this yet. Oh, Burning you don't know this yet, yeah, brother. I, I'm poisoned. Like... Can you try and do something to heal this before it overcomes me? Could have sworn I fixed that, but sure. I guess I'll try and diagnose whatever's wrong with him this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not quite sure what it is. Fate point. I'm spinning it. Okay, go for it. Do fate point. We roll it. Tell the apothecary to try again. Yeah, I did. I spent it. Yep. Minus. Uh. Or not minus. Just no. No. Go ahead. Roll. There was a fate point reroll though, right? Yeah, it's a fate point reroll, so it's the same bonuses. Yeah. Nope. No, it's not. Oh, is it not? You get an extra plus 10 for a fate point reroll on. Oh, okay. Plus, 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 I have a 30. thing that makes that 10 or 13, so I have now a plus 33 on it. Go nice. for it. Much better. Oh, diagnose uh, the shit out of that. You were able to discern that whatever this toxin is, it's able to basically self-replicate and self-replicate and mutate. Uh, he's going to have to see... Uh, higher medical care. That's not he doesn't have enough time. Is it in like a... Where is it? Uh, his body. His whole body. You're yep. able to tell it's at the ah, cellular it's level. Right so it's like a, it's like kind of like a really bad virus. Mutating cells and creating more toxins and really bad. If he it, if it was any mere mortal, he would already have been long past. I did take samples from it earlier. Is there any way I can uh, yeah. make an antitoxin? Yeah. Uh, what uh, What do you have for that? Well, I've got the files of the toxin that was... No, no, no. I mean, what skill... What skill... What skill, what skill, what skill uh, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Same thing I've been doing. Plus my... Um, Narcathum arm thing. It's like a built for doing this kind of thing. Okay. Uh, go minus minus sixty on this when you make this uh, antitoxin. Minus sixty. Damn. Fuck. Oh. 
I'm not spending a fate point on that. <laughs> I will. Okay. Do you want me to spend a fate point? That's probably sure, a good nice. idea. That yeah, well, a minus not... twenty, uh, minus thirty-seven. Are you injecting... minus twenty-seven? Right. Are you injecting this right into him? Or are you trying to just make the antitoxin? Kind of make He's trying to antitoxin. synthesize okay. an, uh, cool. like an he antidote. Cool. Yeah, three vials from his blood, and then two from Yelmug's here. Plus, obviously, you could take more. Can I uh, spend a fate point for Moth yeah, to re-roll that? Y'all can. Go okay. for it, Moth. I'm going to do it because it's my life. Boom. I'm down to two fate points now. Yeah, so, and it was also down to, like, uh, what's the... Uh, yeah, minus 27 modifier now. Yep. With all those bonuses. Oh. <sighs> Well, I mean, you needed a 20 or below. Right. I don't know if giving you another fate roll gives you another plus 13. You're good. You're good. Okay. So do we know if I'm going to make it, or do I need, like, medevac right now? Uh, he's got this look up and down, so Medicaid check. All right. All right. Well, wouldn't uh, that 6.1 tell you? Plus twenty. Oh, he was checking. He was checking for something else. You're talking about medevac immediately. He's trying to because that was used to determine what the hell it is. And now he's trying to determine. Uh, well, I guess I can see your point. If he needs medevac now. Yeah, that is pretty high. Uh, he definitely has some time, probably to the end of this mission. He, yeah, but. Uh, okay. You, you know Moth messing with this is going to make it probably worse. Just based on what's going on. Uh, you're not quite sure what the hell this stuff is. So it's not critical that I get medevac, but Immediately, prolonging uh, it, it's going to cause long-term effects? Past the day. You won't survive past the day. Okay. Uh, but the mission, you should be all right. Yeah, okay. Cool. So... Back to uh, the commissary here. I'm like, so you haven't seen any group in the last X number of hours since you know whatever crash. No, he doesn't even tell you. He doesn't. He wasn't even aware there's a crash. Uh, I know, well, but I'm just saying in the in the area in the last X yeah, number of hours. He, any he says, other group? No, he says if there was a group, they probably would head to. There's a refinery where they're evacuating civilians. He may or may not be there. You could try there. That's where I would go. Alternatively, we can head back north to that other sealed exit we found that had the tracks leading out of it. Yeah. Well, there Maybe were better, there were better. tons of monsters in there, and they've overrun that whole area by now. No, probably. I don't mean go through the tunnels. I mean oh. on the surface, go find the exit to find yeah. the tracks where they were going. Yeah, like this could have just been on the way to that area, that tunnel exit. That might be a better bet. I yeah. feel like the because, refinery. I mean, if we go to the refinery, everyone will be there, and that means the data core may not be there. We lose the trail of the dude we're tracking. We don't well, know. If the, the guy's dead before he got over there, then it doesn't. You know, yeah. finery's not going to matter. So, um, yeah, it's cool. True. Do you know where uh, the? Any servant's entrance to, uh, what was it, the net, la, ma, uh, Magrail is? Magrail? Uh, directly south. Well, there's one that we exit out of. I'm talking about any other ones, like, north of us. Uh, he tells you there's one, uh, up north, past this ravine here. He says, don't, I mean, it's hellish that way. They just, they just barely got out, got out alive coming from there. They tell you it too is overrun by Tyranids. So if he came this way, it was probably earlier than then we we arrived on scene. Cool. Is the ravine? I don't know the direction they were heading. Like just out. Is that headed towards said refinery? No, he tells you the refinery is uh, due east of here. We, they were protecting the line for evacuation. Wait, it's due east of here, but we're facing. But the turnids came from the east. No, no, north. The ravine in the north. 
Right, right, right. But I'm talking about the refinery, though. Refi oh, that, uh, yeah, it's due southeast from here. Okay. Uh, but the exit was northwest, heading west. So we gotta go that way. Uh, yeah, he tells you they, yeah, they tells you he came, okay, so he, he tells you he came from that direction. So, he came from this direction. And they're just holding line against us everything, so. Okay. I know, it's just your, uh, where the turn is that they were shooting the from don't make sense for directions and stuff. No, he he he, he tells you they've been coming from all over the place. So they've okay. been popping out, popping out of the ground, attacking this position. Um, they just been holding this basically in this ravine, sh stopping them as best they can. Um, <clears throat> they're not for whatever reason they're not able to get past this point by tunneling. For whatever reason, they refuse to tunnel through here. They're not sure what's going on. So. All right. Uh, but the northwest is a flood of of Tyranids, then, yeah? Uh, currently, yes. He said they just came from there. Uh, they lost a convoy coming. The, lo the last convoy that they're aware of was uh, overtaken. Cool. So then I guess our only option is to head to the refinery, then. Or head into a swarm of Tyranids, but... Well, but our primary objective is recovering the data core and then... Right, I'm to trying to reason where they would have gone if they made it through. And if he this cares. was only a moments ago or like... I do have a thought. If the dude we're looking for is a biologist that knows how to fuck with the Tyranids, especially this swarm, one, wouldn't they go after him with everything they have? meaning the large swarms are going to be where he might be at. Two, they can't burrow through this terrain. Might have something to do with him fucking with them. Well, that's if they know that he's got a thing. Well, they were chasing him. Well, yeah, that the entire path everybody. along him has been littered with them. Yeah, but, but I feel we've also been like on the edge of a massive swarm. The yeah, time. but as we've been moving... Like trying to trying to find this guy, the swarm has been chasing us. So I think our apothecary has a point. Plus, when we found his trail, he had been attacked by. Him. Yeah, because there was blood. That's when he crashed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and then, then when they they crashed, crashed and then they swarmed the over a crash. Warriors. So for all we know, Mangos could still be alive, and that was just one of the crew members' blood. We did find Tyranid blood and two Tyranid corpses along the path. Yeah. They they know he's here. As to his relevance, we don't know if they know. Right, but uh, cause I remember before Thomas had indicated that the current swarms in the area didn't seem like they were under uh, direct um, tactical control of entities. Yeah, yeah, the first couple of swarms you engage, yes. Yeah. Yeah, did we hear a huge scream recently? Yeah, we did, but that was like very far away. And only the swarm near that thing would be under its control. Everything else would just be acting under instinct, such as, ooh, pray, kill. Which would mean that it would they would chase him regardless of whether of his importance. So if he ha did make it from there, you know, like what would what direction would he go um, to avoid or evade? So if people were making cracks down to the refinery, then logic would say that his next step would probably be to head that way instead of away from a rally point to, you know, possibly make it off the planet. He might have a point that he needs to escape as well, so he might be at the uh, refinery of the civilians. Or at least along the way. I mean, I get your point that he may have died in the core we need is just in the mass of Tyranids yeah. to the northwest. Like, I understand that that's your point. Um, so, I want to say... But that's just assuming he's really? dead. I just want to say something. 
all of us are sitting here deliberating this, so maybe we should roll for logic to see if we come up with the right answer. I also have another idea. What? If he's a mechanicus, can you make something to track him? Uh, possibly. That's going to be a question for the GM, because I don't know if I'm allowed to do that or not. Let me see if he is a uh, full depthus mechanicus like you. I know he's a biologist. Well, anyone from the Adeptus Mechanicus That's would true. be like littered with uh, technical uh, with implants and cybernetics. That's true. Yep, I have. Uh, I have of a, what branch they are. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look on my character sheet. So I have my. So what I've got is a common bionic arm and a common mind impulse unit. I don't know what the mind impulse unit does. I know what it does. Go from there. Right, but you're also a space marine and you're less... Advanced than he would be. Yeah, you're not tech priest. You're space right. marine. He's right. a... You get more implants than a space marine right. would, but you're not like... A brain in a robot suit. Like right. a tech priest is. I forgot what the mind impulse uh, unit mind does. impulse unit allows the owner to interface directly with uh, a machine or technological device so what you've been doing with your with your technology check anyways and your machine spirit talking to i think okay. it's a, it's wi-fi essentially it's, yeah so so can i try and pick up a signal from like where this tech priest might be like is he would he be broadcasting some kind of distress signal anywhere and you use these literal buckets of bolt, uh, buckets of rust to somehow enhance your signal receiving capabilities. Ah, uh, yes. Bucket on top of your head. Would That's... that give you a greater chance to receive signals? Well, <laughs> what what I do, what I plus ten tech use. That was amusing. What I do is not put if it on my. I'm not going to put it on my head. I'm going to, uh, try to use my uh mechanical arm to like bend them into a bunch of right angles to see if I can get an antenna receiver going uh, I'll do tech but then basically that. putting the bucket on the head so yeah well yeah but I, I would be boosting my oh. signal with alright some modifier are you getting plus, in 10. plus, plus 10, 10 for, right. uh, for our shenanigans with this yep alright boom yay Okay, so you're able to not pick up him, but you're able to pick up something. Definitely coming in the direction that Refinery talked about, and you hear some sound to you sound like some crazy asshole talking about something, something prisoner, and they're wanting demands met. Ooh, brothers, come have a listen to this. And then I fashion the buckets into a speaker. T uh, tech use. Plus tech, 10. Or I, I tried to fashion it into a speaker. Plus 10. Yeah. Yep. Plus 10. Just played it over our, our internal comms, but okay. That too. But no, he, it, we're going to play this out. <laughs> he does this. <laughs> He's blasted so even the soldiers can hear. You just hear some crazy lunatic, like psychopath on the other end talking about they want all their demands met. They want all this money, right? And if you don't meet it, blah, blah, blah. And guy makes no sense to you because it seems like he's completely unaware of what's going on in the outside world and that they have some sort of high official as prisoner Damn. okay he has a high official which means either it's a red herring or they have the majors so refineries the direction we go but it wasn't coming from the refinery yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Oh, it was? Yeah, direct, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Direct, general direction where the refinery, you're boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. General direction where the commissar told you the refinery was, he's, that's where it's coming from. Okay. I um, believe it's coming from the refinery, brothers. You can tell the, the <clears throat> commissar any of this? Well, the, Actually, no, he heard all this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he heard so, it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he tells you the, uh, um, he says, Possibly the uh, prison complex like let loose their prisoners or some shit that's going on. They, he tells you, and they probably got the refinery. Uh, he do, he doesn't know. All hell broke loose when uh, the Tyranids hit. 
It sounds like Miracle. sounds like a yeah, sounds like prisoners for sure. But if they if what they claim is true and they are holding a prisoner of high value hostage, it may be the mages we're after. But it's our best lead at the moment. So I say we head to the refinery. Okay, let's follow suit. Onwards to the refinery then. Alright. Onwards to glory! The refinery hence being dropped in this scene, it seems likely that that's the direction we should go anyway. But that's out of character meta knowledge. <laughs> yeah, but there were also hints he was given in other stuff. And other times he's been given hints to do other stuff that was just not. So, yeah, never helps. Never hurts to be a little bit more thorough. Yep, but wading into a death trap, uh, or the way they've been rolling, the way we've been rolling, we would have. Been oh yeah, everything's going to be a death one. trap the way we roll. Yeah, I, I know that much. But guaranteed death versus maybe a chance of living. Yeah. Also, we can call in evac for ourselves at any time, but that wouldn't help the guardsmen. Right. Well, that uh, we would fail our mission. Yeah, it's who true. The, who had the beacon? Would you get the beacon to, Captain? Beginning? If I'm the captain, I probably would probably be the one holding it. I think you were holding it this entire time. I mean, it would make sense that the captain holds the, uh, the, the beacon. Right, uh, signal beacon. Just as long as one of the other Marines didn't have it on the drop pod, right. load it. Uh, you guys have about give or take two hours left. All right, let's book it. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, this time we're not gonna put cracker grenades on one of these little things. Right. But it worked so well last time. I can see Moth's field of view and it's green. Does he have night vision? I think that was a flamethrower I had running at the time. Oh. It's uh, your sensors are messing up. <laughs> On your head. He tells you uh, it, it, the refinery's just past this uh, this defensive line they put up. There's some uh, he tells you there's automated defenses they had at least in their back line, some bunkers. Um, the only way into the complex is uh, there's a because they shut down everything else wall wise. The only way in they had a uh, bunker system that led it into the complex itself. That's a so. So we're gonna have to fight our way through the bunker system, huh? Uh, he says that if 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 his uh other Imperial Guardsmen failed, then more than likely he'd be fighting stuff in the tunnels. Yes. Excellent. Uh, because he says there should be guns lighting stuff up right now, but he's not he's not seeing any of those automated defenses <laughs> at work. Okay. Well, the commissary would know, I guess, the better place to go to ingress, so let's, or enter, so let's enter them bunker systems and uh, try and find our Majos. Let me go, hold on, I'm in the wrong layer. Abby has his uh, guards been kind of Chevron. And he tells you the bunker entrance is, uh, I got to put down a bunker. Give me one second. I love it. That's a big bunker entrance. Oh yeah, he says it was an, it's an automated defense system around the perimeter of the, the refinery. 
Uh, he points that the the auto guns are non-functioning at the top there. Says that should not be. Can I uh, roll a tech use to uh, Let's see what's wrong with them? The we... Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, also help uh, Neo Tyrant out with the uh, tech use. Right, uh, tech use modifier. Uh, plus twenty. Plus what? Plus twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, you know that the power seems to be disabled. Like there's like uh, no visible lights of any kind in this bunker. The guns are kind of peering downwards, as if uh. The power was knocked out somehow. The devices are not receiving power. Maybe we can find a disconnected cord and plug it back in. Turn it on and off again. <laughs> or it was disabled from a central control panel. Maybe we should just get into the bunker. They Instead installed the Windows 11. Destroyed. They installed Windows 11 on the bunker and we can't get to the control panel anymore. <laughs> we'll just shoot the window out and let's move through it. <laughs> no, it's a bunker. The, the guardsman just shows you, like, uh, as you guys are approaching the door, you can tell that there's something uh, tore a giant hole into one of the doors, and it's kind of at a funny angle, and there's blood throughout the crevice of the entire door. All right, well, let's get in there. <laughs> human blood or Xeno blood? Uh, it's human blood. Very, very human blood. And you just see, it looks like uh, just like someone put their hands through and got pulled in. In? Hmm. Yeah, inwards. The the hands are sticking on the outside of the door, like huh. like they put their hands through the door, like they're trying to pry it open and, and slip back in. So it's just the two hands sitting there, like all quiet on the western front and the barbed wire. No, 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 no. 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 Imagine thing. somebody sticking their hands into a door and ripping the door open. Oh, oh, handprints in the door. Okay. Yeah, yeah, blood ha bloody handprints on the outside of the door where you guys can visibly see it. Doors shut. So you guys are opening the door and going in? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you guys looking for traps as you go in? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, awareness checks? Modifier? Uh, no mutton. Yeah, standard plus 20. Uh oh. Uh, fail, 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 fail. Uh, okay. Who are we missing? I got it. Hold, brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, when you look ahead, you see that there's uh, definitely like uh, a trap or a bug hole or something up ahead that's obviously to spring a trap in you guys. You've seen this before in the tunnels. Um,. Especially to you, Moth, or Yelmug, when they camp behind you. You're like, so there's something right there. On oh, the brothers. There's a buggy hole right there. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a yeah. trap. What are we going to do? You know something's there. You so, don't know what. Heavy Bolter, on the hole, the rest of us, or two of us, open the door. So when anything pops out, we got a heavy bolter pointed straight at it. Don't we want to like stick the flamethrower in there and light it up, maybe? The they have to feel high tendency to dodge that nonsense. Yeah, they they do dodge the flamethrower pretty well, but crack grenade on the other hand is a non AOE device. Yes, it's meant for blowing shit up. It'll collapse their hole. That's down, down grenades. You guys gonna toss a bunch of grenades at it, or just toss a couple grenades at it? I was gonna say just yeah. one. Can the heavy bolter collapse the bug hole? Uh, tactical check. I guess if you're trying to think or a logic check, see if you can do that. All of the above. <laughs> yeah, all of the above, because you have the drop. That this thing is springing a trap. You guys know it. As soon as you step in, this thing, whatever it is, is going to ambush you. I just uh, like tactical. Is there an tactical role? I think there 
is? There is, but it's like a uh, a specific skill so it's not uh, it's down in the tactics but we don't have any training unless you had something specific for it okay oh that's um, right i think i sure did i i think i did not grab that skill logic scrutiny evaluate let's do logic yeah, I, I, yeah evaluate would probably be good too yeah do logic modifier uh no modifier You can't, you, yeah, uh, you're able to discern that your bolter will do more firecracker and waste a shot to shooting around the hole than, than something I threw else. a crack in the hole. Okay, go for it. Do you even have any left? I thought you threw your entire belt. I no, threw, you, and you I ordered me to throw my crack in the hole. How about that? How many, how many do you have left? Because I know you used some in the beginning of the, the mat mission. Uh, oh, I haven't used any crack grenades other than, no, uh, you oh, threw your, threw. you yeeted your oh, entire belt, you only remember? had ten. No, he had 10, 10 frags oh, and that's... 10 crack. That's okay, right. cool, cool. All right, so yeah, I threw all my cracks. So someone just throw a crack grenade in the hole. Yeah, I'll toss one in. A moth is doing it. Okay. But I bought uh, your time. You didn't have to eat shit. Yeah. Okay, um, that explodes. You guys need to do any other uh, surprise action on this thing? Um, shove a flamer, flamer in the hole as well. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. How much damage? It's right there. Uh, yeah, minus am I also doing the flamer? 29 pin 6. So, let's see. 29 minus... Hold up. Uh, are, you, are you talking about a flamer usage right now? What? Because oh. we can throw a flamer in this. Yeah, yeah, that, crap, that grenade brings that monster out. It's a, it's a warrior bug. Um, oh, another warrior. The warrior comes out. I take my initiative and just fire at it with a heavy bolter. Okay. Is that plus 40 as well? No yep. cover? Uh, uh, Yelmo, you do the same thing? Um. Because y'all get action on this thing. Any, even the Imperial Guardsman can have yeah. some action on this guy too. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I mean, we may as well just uh, make sure he doesn't exist. Was my action the grenade or do I still have another one? Oh, geez, I missed. You missed. Uh, Domingo, do your damage. <laughs> I think it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, it, it immediately died. Oh my dies. god, how many tens is that? Oh, there's three, so that's three more damage rolls. He's dead okay. as shit. Okay. He just evaporates. You just see him Because we, we don't... I can affirm those hits. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. You guys going in? Yes. What? Where it came from, you see that the hole's still there. It falls back into the hole. And I immediately reload re after that. Okay. Uh, you see another one coming up to that hole. Blast it away. Pew, pew, pew. All right. I'll shoot at it. Full auto with the, my bolter. Yeah, let me get the interior. The one that has uh, the interior. There we go. I wonder if I can put this on a different layer. Layer, layer. Yep. There that's it what is. I want. The bunker seems bigger than it than it appears. No, no, oh, no. Yeah. Give me a second. I gotta resize it. <laughs> Holy crap! I got a critical success on that roll. Okay. Nice. I imagine that was full auto too, right? It was full auto. Yeah. Okay, um, it's it's dead. So it this one dies. Okay, and as that one dies, uh, you hear roaring coming from the the hole. Still, there are more cracker needs in the hole. <laughs> All right, I drop another two in the hole. Then. You gonna try to collapse the hole? Yep. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Roll for damage from the crack grenades. Okay. Yep. Uh, no, you can't the uh, roll ten, uh, D tens. Hold up. Uh. So that that you see it go off, explode. Obviously, or obviously, it kills another one of those guys. You still hear the roar. Your crack grenades did not seal that that hole up. 
You want to keep throwing grenades in there to seal it up? More crap grenades. <laughs> oh, I s Should I just drop the rest of my belt in? Got another six. Is this even working? It worked in the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure, I'll drop another. I'll drop the entire belt in six. Go for it. Oh my god. God can't help us here. Just the god emperor. Oh my emperor. Uh, okay, so that actually does it. So you just see the hole just kind of hear distant roars and it just collapses. It just collapses. <laughs> the ground beneath you kind of sinks as well to the, the massive explosions going on. The Imperial Guardsmen are like shaking in terror as these things go off. Like, <laughs> Uh, you think you're loud enough? <laughs> Did you hear one of them say? What was that? Oh. I'm just fine. We're doing our jobs. I couldn't hear you over the sound of dead tyrannids. <laughs> We're loud enough to seal up this hole. Are you happy? I nod in approval. Um. So he, he shows you kind of like where he says that's not that. That's obviously not the total into the bunker uh, system array, but more than likely, if if they breach this bunker, they breach the rest of the entire bunker system. Um, oh boy. Mhm. Mm but it's our and, best way in, so let's yeah, go. It, right, and he tells you, uh, looking at what's going on, he says, by the, the more than likely, the central power system, or the central command, is shut down from within. That's the only way it could be turned off like that. The refinery is lost. Huh. Uh, if they don't get the guns back up, yeah, it will be lost. Well, it's not really our job to get this defense system back online, is it? it he just did, yeah. No, he, but it'll help if it just happens to be a long way, time. or if it happens to be in the same area that the Magus is being held. Yeah, that's help. true. You know, it's not like we're going to make a pass specifically for the control room. However, a control room is also the most likely place a leader type person holding someone hostage would also be. Yeah, that's a good point. Where the data core is. So, we may just end up going there anyway. Okay. Uh, uh, the. So, the Imperial Guardsman offers to go into the tunnels first to see if it's a secure route. Oh, by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you guys going to wait until he comes back? No, we're going to follow He's not going to come back. Just gonna uh, follow. I think we should just all go in. You're, I... you're a brave man. I salute you. Um, we're going to go. Um, there's only, what, one, one way in? Right? Uh, he it's says like they sealed off. System. No, he says they sealed off uh, all possible routes into the refinery, right? Because it's a giant, giant walls around the entire complex. The only way they're the the evacuation post, or the only way that they got people out through. Right, is right. I mean, in this bunker system, is it just one yeah, way through, or is it like a sprawling bunker system? No, he tells you it's just one, one straight, one straight way into the refinery complex. Right. Um, he, Why would we he just wait kinda... for him to come back? Exactly. Let's just, to yeah. go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> okay. He's just, he said he, he can he's just wanted to rush ahead and secure the area. That's all. Throwing your life away is not brave. It is stupid. Uh, hey, he's being brave. He wants to go <laughs> ahead of the Space Marines to show he's made of stuff. Let him do it. Okay. <laughs> he, the show he's made of red mist? Also, if he dies and his becomes red mist, we know there's danger ahead. Quick question, <laughs> should we have full vision of this? Yes. Uh, where the heck are we uh, one located second. at? Give me a second, I'm working on it. We aren't located here yet, that's the problem. Yeah, we're in the top right. Just just so you are aware though, Boker, we have full map vision right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Fine for now. Those humans oh. are giant. Look how huge they are compared to the space bugs. Those aren't humans anymore. But because, uh, yeah, let's see. 
And let's see. Boop. Now it should be fixed. Yeah. Oh. It's dark in here. Who should uh, who am I miss oh who am I missing? Uh probably me. Uh, tech Marine? No, we got a No, nope, missing Dominego. Uh, I can see. Okay, let's see. And yes, he does describe all the prisoners. There would be a vast population of Ogren. A vast population, huh? Yeah, they said there's an entire prison complex to the north of this refinery. Right, but a vast population of Ogren specifically, huh? Yeah. Specifically, yes. Okay. That's where all the trader ones went. They use them as slave labor for the refineries. So if anyone's to overrun it, Probably be those guys and some other prisoners. Brothers, there appears to be a requisition point up ahead. <laughs> I see it. You're correct. If we can gather that, then we can get enough points to summon in more reinforcements. <laughs> we can it. take I this planet back. <laughs> I thought you loved that. I thought you loved that. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Oh, this right here is requisition? Yeah. Requisition? Yeah. yeah. All not. It, it's from uh, the the Dawn of War computer game. Yeah, if you played Warhammer 40k Dawn of War, like you can bring a squad to a requisition point and they'll put like a banner on it, and then over time you'll capture it, and then you gain more requisition from it, which is like the resource that allows you to get more units or build units. Gotcha. It, it increases your income if you have requisition points captured. If you've played Company of Hero, it's basically yeah. the capture points from that. Yeah, I understood it. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. Yep. I'm just explaining it for the sake of it because I like requisition points and I like Dawn of War. Where are we going? Oh, I see a bad guy directly in front of us. Are we uh, sure that's a bad like guy? A very sickly farmer to me. <laughs> Are we sure that's a bad guy, or is he just a maintenance crew trying he, to clean he's up? He's larger than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, he's about as large as you guys. And he's carrying a big club. I want to so roll. Not a mop. Or I want to roll for like Xeno's lore to see if I can figure out what the heck that is. Ogren. I'm going to roll Imperial Lore to just know that it's Nogren. Yep, go for it. What? It's an Ogren. Yep, it's an Ogren. We don't know what that is. Obviously. Yes, you do. No, okay, no, our lore. characters know what that is. Us in real life have no oh, okay. fucking idea what you're talking oh. about. No, oh, basically, uh, space ogres, but they're just mutated humans. Are yeah. they they are evolved humans to essentially look like ogres. If they were mutated, they would have been purged from existence. But they are evolved humanoids. Gotcha. Um, that essentially are, you know, a fantasy space ogre. So are they bad um, guys? Oh, they're very loyal well, they to the Empire. They are the prisoners they were talking about. Not. Yeah, they're very loyal to the Empire, unless, you know, uh, Trey... They're, they're very stupid, like yeah. ogres. Normally ex extraordinarily loyal to the Empire, but they can be tricked into not being loyal anymore. And apparently, there's a vast population of disloyal Ogren here. It's it's the Australia of Ogren. <laughs> <laughs> he tells oh. you they use them for slave labor over here, so yeah. It's, 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 Okay, I guess we just murder our way through this then, huh? Well, first, I want to give them a chance, because there's always the chance that they're not. Hold there. I speak at the Ogren. And he goes, Oi! What are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? We just came in from the outside. 
Right, and he describes you how the basically the God Emperor promised him all these things, and he's here to to help him. And they they're carrying one of the disloyal dudes, and he's up up in the central central command station with their their leader. That gives them all the orders from the God Emperor. Well, he does, does he? Yeah, that's what he tells you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here now, and I now give you the orders. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if he recognizes that you're Space Marine, because he would recognize you as an angel of the Emperor, so... Also, yeah, I do have, uh, the authority talent thing, so people outside of Space Marines, uh, the Arab Authority, so those outside of Space Marines recognize my authority more so than other Space Marines, I guess. So, yeah, are you the angel of the Emperor? Absolutely. Uh, he goes, okay, I follow you then. Good man. The Emperor smiles on you today. Fall well, in and do the Emperor's bidding. All right, and he's like, uh, show you to the, the loot room. Uh, they've been smashing bug boys all day, tells you. I heard you've had uh, your, the previous guy who was giving you orders was holding a particular per, uh, prisoner of value. Take us to him. Uh, I don't know. They, he, he had to scratch his head. But he a traitor to the Emperor. He a weird man. Which is why we need to find him. Mm. The Emperor Doesn't... commands it. He goes, okay, okay. He tells you there's a lot of bug boys in between here and there. I, <laughs> he tells you his guy's been smashing bug boys good. <laughs> <laughs> These clubs. Bug boys, uh, they, they hurt a little bit. The only solution to a, a bug boy is a dead bug boy. So. <laughs> proceed and we shall assist you destroying these bug boys. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He proceeds south this way. Down, brothers. Follow the Ogren. I'm already following him. I don't need to be told that. <laughs> I noticed there's an exit on the south, so I just push through. Kind of following, but towards the outer exit. Right. He says, yeah, uh, he, he points to the south bug boys that way. Uh, he says, uh... Uh, they this way, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, just past Bug Boys. Excellent. Lead the way. Oh. Uh, goes this way. <laughs> Once I went through the other door, I see the, uh, Tyrion heads. Yep, you gonna shoot at them? Please don't. Because, uh, they're just gnawing on prisoners. They're gnawing on, uh... They're not gonna bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, you see another ogre and oi! And then he pushes the other smaller one, ogre and down the, the one you've been following. He's like, what are you doing? You know what the boss emperor said. You see a uh, group of them surrounding you. The one who's been giving you orders has been lying to you. Listen to me, my fellow men. My fellow Ogren. Uh, do you have a check for that? Uh, I have fellowship. Do that. <sighs> Let's give you a plus. What was it? Are you trained in authority? What does it give you a plus 10? I have air of authority. It doesn't give me... Uh, it just means that other that those outside of uh, the Space Marines recognize my authority. Yes, they, they do recognize it. Uh, let's give you a plus, plus 20 on your check. Oh. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use uh, a fate. Fate point. <laughs> I'm gonna use fate. Okay. We better use fate point. <laughs> Wait, are we able to help out with this fellowship? Like, uh, we... well, I don't know if we... we... y'all y'all can. I mean, I, mean I rolled really badly on that. It was a ninety-four. Yeah. Uh, they all go. They all go. Hmm. You mean? S small man with golden hat lied to us. <laughs> yes, the small man with the golden hat lied to you. 
<laughs> you should listen to me. I am the emissary of the God Emperor. <laughs> 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 Follow me, and their service to the Emperor will be well rewarded. Right? Alright, so, alright, I listen to you then. He says, I'll tell other others that uh, this gold man hat lied to us. Probably, what, I think and, I brought to us. Just right, in case. And, right, and then he asks, uh, what about the weird boy? The weird boy is the one that we are after. We will take him far away from this place where he can do you no harm. So smash him and then bring do him Do not out. smash him. He has vital <laughs> intelligence that we need. He knows no. things. No do not, things. Do not smash. Do not so smash do Weird not. Boy. Weird Boy, help us. You help us ah. bring us Weird Boy. <laughs> I see, Weird Boy. <laughs> at, at I'll a character, it. I hate how they're orcs right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they get along with orcs very well, from my understanding. Anyways, play the same intelligence level. <laughs> I can't help it. We get... Anyways, yeah, yeah, weird one. All right, bring weird one back. What do you want with Gold Hat Man? What do you want to do it done with him? Gold. Wait, who is Gold Hat Man? It's the leader of the prisoners. Oh, okay. Just in case, we should probably confirm to see whether or not. Yeah, Gold Hat Man may end up being the mages. So yeah, that, that's what I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, take just us to him. Okay, uh, us so, to the so they bring you through. You see a bunch of Ogren doing various tasks, making weapons and... Uh, <clears throat> all sorts of manner of uh, clubs and spikes and all that. See a couple tiered heads mounted on their heads. They've been at this all day, it seems. And then they, uh, this guy reaffirms all of them. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're the, the God Emperor's angels. Uh, Gold Man Hat lied to us. Gold Hat Boy. Yeah, Gold Hat Man. <laughs> Let me get him out. Oh, he's a giant. <laughs> no, that's not him. But I mean, that's not the. That's not the gold hat man. No, uh, he he points to the gold hat man right there, the one with the the last rifle. So then, who is uh that guy? Uh, uh he is a a. Uh, Tech priest of some kind. Don't know the name. Uh, you know. We can infer that he's probably Magos if he's a tech yeah. priest. Probably the Magos. Does he look bound? Yeah. Okay. Like, cool. A bunch of bunch of rope. Up. A bunch of bunch of other stuff. He looks battered and bruised and like he's been through hell. Cool. And you see a man at the last rifle, and he's aiming the last rifle at you. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to slowly walk up and go, are you the one claiming to be the will of the Emperor? And let's see. Hold up. Let's see. And he just shoots at you. And he says, get he out of here. About. Yeah, he thinks about it. His last rifle freezes up. Uh, I pull auto him uh, straight to the yeah, face. Yeah, I, I shoot him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry, that was damage. Not hit. My fucking. Oh no. Oh no. My gun jams actually. That's a ninety-five. Yeah, it's a gun jam. Uh, ANCS, how much damage do you do? Jeez, what did I roll? Terrible. Okay, cool. It was a heavy bolter against yep. a, a random human. My seventeen. My, oh, he's dead. Uh, he's already yeah. He just the last hit did him in. He's 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 like cut in half, blood and guts. Sweet. He's, he's, you just hear the ogres chant and go. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you are the yeah. God Emperor's angel, something like that. That's all they saw you hear. They're <laughs> cheering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Grace Tyson, if you could check and see if you can reestablish the defense systems here. Of course. Apothecary. Mm. Come Let's here and tend to this prisoner's wounds. I look over at the mages. I assume you are the mages, yes? You got me correct. You guys got my message then. Excellent. I unbind his uh, bindings. I guess I give him a medical checkup. See if he's near death or whatnot. Okay, go for it. Meanwhile, I am trying my damnedest <laughs> to get the defenses back online. So what's my right. tech use modifier? Uh, minus 30. Minus 30, okay. Minus I'll help, uh, also help on uh, Neil Tyrant as well. Okay. Yeah, we're at this control panel. Yeah. We're not getting that. Yeah. It appears uh, the defenses are borked. Right. Uh, so you're is able that to... Is a technical to... term? Borks? Yeah, yes, it is a technical broke. term. Yeah, it is a technical... It's, it's, it's Learn working. something every day. <laughs> Can I... I would working. like to... I would like to use my... Uh, what is it? I think I have... Technical knock, so it's like okay. percussive maintenance on this computer thing, and I don't know. It's it's just like a uh, thing. So maybe I can like try again. You can do another. Technical knock was supposed to fix gun. Oh, is that it? Okay, never mind then. Okay. Uh, Speaking of which, I tossed you my pistol. Could you fix that? Uh, yeah. I can try. All right. And Moth, you're techies. able to discern that uh, this guy's. Pretty badly beaten up. He needs to be back pretty quickly. Next, probably next hour, he's gonna need because uh, he's like, he's been tortured by, by these guys, <laughs> missing fingers and all sorts of things. Is there any way I can stabilize him? Uh, go ahead. I'll get my plus twenty bonus because he's not a space marine. Brother, I couldn't unjam your gun. It needs oh, to be yeah. field stripped. You're able to stabilize him, but he still needs medical care. Cobal, remember that technical knock you were just talking about? Do yeah. that. It literally fixes gun jams. Yeah. When you oh. need to unjam it, is it? Is oh, it it's not a technical It's a free action. It's literally its point. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Thank you. Excellent. Also, someone capture that uh, resource point. We may need it. On the way. Just, just spread <laughs> at the decision point. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh, what are you doing, Yomug? Okay, well, basically, alright, we can't get the controls. Cool, the Magos is fucked. Um, is he? Well, I mean, you know, within, like, if we don't get him out of here. My stabilizing rolls a four point three though. Did that? Okay, it's uh, it stabilized oh, nice. him. Yeah, yeah. He okay. still needs he still needs medical care. All right, is yeah, he coherent? He's not. He's no longer danger. He's not profusely dying. Is he coherent? Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. He he spoke to us. Speaking of okay. which, do a tough check. You and test correct. No, when you say you. Yeah. You yellbug. You. You yellbug. You. Any any bonuses on there. this? I mean. No. No, because technically, uh, so if it is like a poison or anything else, we do technically get a plus 20 on it. Then do a plus 20 then. Okay, well so then I'll, I'll add... give it for you, boo-boo. I'll give it for you, boo-boo. Add two to my roll. Okay, nice. you succeed, boo-boo. We both succeed. Because it is pretty, it is pretty bad. You do feel like something painful is, is hitting you and growing in you. You're going to get a chest burster. Oh, great. <laughs> 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 It's not like that. Just like uh, you can I tell. I don't even like, an egg. What's it's happening? It's not here? coming out of your chest. It's coming out of your ass. Oh, <laughs> worse. Rick and Morty style. He ate Taco Bell. All right. Well, now that we've secured the Majos, Majos, do you have the data core on you? He he, t he um he tells you that that stupid egghead over there took it somewhere in this refinery. God. Oh, probably in the loot room. They were talking about that. Damn it. <laughs> Loot room we go. <sighs> Listen up, Ogren. 
This man is to be protected at all costs, but I need one of you to lead us to this loot room. Okay, so they take you. They said it. Yes, it's this way. So. I'm not sure I'd be at the recognition point. I'm right, going to follow so, them to the loot room. So they all follow you this way. All the ogre? Yeah, you're, you're the angels. Uh, you're the I'm angel going to I'm gonna order three ogre to remain back with me with the, the dude back here. Yeah, oh, plus yeah, yeah, the yeah, Imperial yeah. Guardsmen oh, should like probably defend her too. Guardsmen. Yeah. 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 How, how long should I be at the recognition point? You can come back now, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I think it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. Well, Imperial Guardsmen will protect the Majos, like you said. Um, they point to you. Uh, loot rooms just past all these buggy boys. They, they said they've been trying to get it back. Yeah, past hour or so. They said there's some shiny stuff there. There's a lot of Ogren lost. All right, brothers. Set up bolters. In your heavy bolters, and let's mow this shit down. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and do. You guys get a surprise action since these things have been just munching on dead ogre, and they're kind of not, not paying attention to you guys right now. I mean, my right, someone's still on fire. for this guy then. Hmm? Uh, it's gonna be a plus forty. Are you gonna stab him? Okay. Yeah, I I'm shitted ranged. Any bonus to hit from the surprise stack? Uh, plus, plus 20? And then like a plus 10 because you charged. Yeah. Ooh, I'm doing melee combat now. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Uh, that thing dies. Nice. Let's see, Ogren's with you, and then let's see. And then, uh, Fire my uh, heavy bolter. Yes, yeah, up. Okay. Oh, is that a... Hmm. Does Righteous Fury proc on melee? Yes. Oh, man, it just... Uh, it didn't blow. Nothing happens with that guy. Okay. Yeah, any, any damage really am close. Can... Yeah, no, no gas carapace explosion. Can I then throw my knife at the next uh, Tyranid nearby? And then forget you... to pick it up? Nah, I won't forget <laughs> this. You could probably... Since... I... Who's next? Right. What you could do is probably, with your knife and foot, kick that exploding tyranid into the next one, see what happens. Yeah, sure. yeah. I'll boot That's what that register is. is. Do it. Why not? Okay, he does it. Yeah, it's just confirmed hit. Oh! Okay. Yeah. So, it boots, it boots over here. It does uh, 13 points of damage. Uh, oh, these are using the old tokens for some reason. No, Moth would be rolling damage again. Right? So. Well, it was the Tyranid's explosion. Oh, damage. oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So 13, da 13 damage on the. It, he yeeted it, it exploded, and uh, hurt him. So, yeah. I'm not duplicating, I'm just uh, replacing the old tokens with the uh, newer ones. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, uh, who else hasn't went? Uh, I'll let dude do his I was uh, first to go, so everybody. Fire the heavy bolter. 40, right? Yeah. What? Oh. oh. That's a hundred. That's a jam! I, I would have uh, eight re uh, Yeah, I want to fight. Yeah, eight <laughs> <point. laughs> You don't yeah, want that's to give really me bad. <laughs> Do Holy not shit. give me a hundred. I will have fun with that. It's so much better. Five hits. <laughs> you don't want the GM to have fun. No. Five more D10s to see if you get any actual 10s. Although losing is fun, so I mean... Nope. Cool. So, how much damage? A lot. Calculation. 2 plus 5 plus 10. 17. Yeah. 8 plus 9 plus 10. 27. Well, it's the, all the totals plus 5 plus for your replacement dice. 9 plus 10. Another 27. A over 100. 
Yeah, it was, it was help me calculate the damage over the over the group of guys you're shooting at. Mm -hmm. Eight. Just do roll Nine. one d one minus one, and then plus all the Ten. numbers. A hundred and fourteen. Oh, plus five. Uh, it's one hundred and sixteen damage. Okay, so these so three I got are seventeen. Ah, oh, yeah, it's one off. Damn it. Yeah, these guys are dead. So these three are dead. So, boom, boom, boom. That's a hundred. No, that's ninety. That would be well, it's four hits. So five hits. Yeah. So this guy. Hits. Okay, so this guy would take. So that's ninety. What's what's one seventeen minus ninety? That's minus twenty seven. So that guy's extremely hurt. Sweet. It's my turn. So these all explode too. Bop, 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 bop. Poo, 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 poo. Yep. Oh, so I think. God. Really? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for. for uh... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, just, just go ahead and add yourselves to the. Uh, Turn order. I screwed that up. Right. It's what you do, by the way, to calculate all those damage. Make the computer do it. I just let the calculator deal with it. I thought I selected it. Oh, oh I already got two. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not plus five. That should be. Two plus five, seven. Hell <clears throat> yeah. Oh, shoot. I meant to do this. Ah, so you can do slash roll and then do calculations there. I'm gonna hit the bathroom and grab a cup of coffee real quick. Yep. Since I'm last in the boat. Last in the turn order anyway. Hey. Ooh. I hate that little thing. I gotta go to the bathroom too, be right back. Uh I guess bio break then everybody. Okay. I'm gonna brew some tea then. All right, I'm back. Oh, hey. Um, would I have gotten any XP like for last session, or are you only going to give XP out for a period? Or if you're trying to keep everybody on the same XP level? Um, XP for what? I mean, I wasn't here last session, so I don't know if you're just giving everybody oh, the same amount yeah. of XP, period, or. Yes, 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 yes. Well, do you happen to remember how many you gave out uh, last session? 400, I believe. Should be a total of 2,400 so far. Uh, Well, that seems wrong because I already have 2,400 from stuff, so... And then 20... Uh, I'll have to look. Let me double check. Pretty sure it was 400 last session as well. Or 400. Right, so just 400 for last session? I believe so, yeah. Cool. Trying to give everyone experience points based just to the flat experience points pool plus 
yeah. anything extraordinary. Cool. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, you're just in time for the Carnifex. Oh, good. I'm kidding. That'd be terrifying. Yeah, it would. What's terrifying? Carnifex can t a Carnifex. I don't know what that is. Uh, a bug tank, but like the size of a house. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, it primarily does. Uh, I mean, you played you played the Dino War series, right? Yeah. Did you did you play the two? No, I I didn't I didn't really play Dawn of War two, and don't even get me started on Dawn of War three. But like, Dawn of War one and like all the derivatives of that, I played the shit out of those. Okay. Dawn of War one is still the best one in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Two was really good though. Like, I two was really get, good. I couldn't get into two. Two is more about squad tactics and big battles, and I'm a big battles aficionado. So. Yeah. Uh, although two really was just, uh, anyway. I, it took more of the uh, components from Company, Company of Heroes. Right. Than the first one did. Right. Right. Um, Which is fine. It, it fit within the game what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it worked really well. And then 3 just Arcade. tried to take 1 and 2, smash them together, and then puked it all up and didn't work out. Um, it looked stupid when I saw them, hey, you put your guy in a bunker and they go in a circle. Like, well, that's stupid. Gee, yeah, this is our cover system. What happened to all your other cover system? The better one. Yeah. Which one are you guys talking about? Three. Number 3. Oh. To me, no, it just what... felt like a MOBA. And I was like, that's, you. That's that's why that's one thing that killed me for it. That's why I, when I saw that, I was like, I'm not, I refuse to play that because that's gonna be a, a click move guy here game. And I'm sure that's what it was, right? Well, I mean, that is technically how all of the uh, the Dino War games are: is click move guy here. The thing. Uh, else well, they didn't move or do anything. So I, I'm not really sure what you're saying. Um, even dumber, like. Click, my guy moves in this area and does things. Do you do anything as a skillful player? No. I just order him to go in this general area. No, no there's a lot of that. It, it had a lot to it. Uh, like, each unit had its own ability and stuff, so if you used it properly, you could do things. The, sure. the but thing... it's just, the movement was lacking. Uh, the high tactical movements that you could do were severely lacking because you, it didn't have as much... Um, oh, it didn't have nothing. Like, I mean, it was still, like, a fun game, but it was lacking compared to the rest of them. The thing that yeah. pissed me off the most about Dawn of War 3 was, first of all, like, there were only two races, like, at the beginning, and you have to buy the rest of them. And then for your army painter, you have to buy you had, colors. You, you had four races for Dawn of War 3. I thought it they was just the... Uh, I thought it was just Space War. Marines and uh, Orcs, and that was it. No. You had Eldar, too. It was okay. three. It was three races. Space Marines, Orcs, and Eldar, and that was it. It's been literal years since I played it, but I also didn't like yeah. that the Orcs didn't have the looted Lehman Russ tank when I played, at least. That's my favorite unit. Uh, the third one, they had a lot more than that. They actually had a lot more of their loot uh, and scavenge and scrap and stuff. I'll have to three, uh, rather than two. Two didn't have any of that. I'll have well, to. I think they had a I'll have to look into Dawn of War three again, but my heart is with uh, the OG and uh, all the Honestly, other ones. Two and yeah. one are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as far as the current effects go, but it's basically giant super armored beefy bug that's uh, the size of a of like a two or three story house. So um, it's like a Ultralisk from StarCraft. Yes. Got it. Basically. It's smaller, I think, actually. Uh, it depends Ultralisks on... are supposed to be massive. Yeah. Depen I mean, it depends the size on of the like, kind of your lore. The old Carnifexes and Carnifexes like, in the lore are basically Ultralisks. 
Um, but like on the models and on tabletop, they're way smaller than that. It's they're also like twice the height of maybe a rhino. It's also a difference um, between Brood War Ultralisks and StarCraft II Ultralisks. The latter are much bigger, lore wise. Yeah, they'd be more akin to the size of uh, the first set of Ultralisks, not the later Ultralisks. Gotcha. Yeah, it's obnoxiously big. That kind of drove me nuts. And the StarCraft? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they just got mutated even larger. What do you want? Uh, that's true. It's yeah. Kerrigan. It, yeah, that makes sense. You're right. They, they, <clears> they not make your big, brutal weapons to be big and brutaler. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I the did not like... The resources. Why not? Right, I did not like the the, uh, the Viking attack mech things. The, those units, yeah, those were I did, dumb as hell. They sucked. They stay they they're shitty ground. They're shitty air. Give me back my race. The well, design and other stuff about it was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they just weren't effective enough. Uh, yeah, you never in in StarCraft you never want to land your Vikings because that's how bad they suck when they're on the ground. Like the only time you want to do that is if you're like attacking another Terran who has a bunch of missile turrets or something. And even then, it's situational. They're just, they're just yeah, they're just terrible yeah. units. I mean, I mean, honestly, you'd just be better off not getting them. Yeah, I... Anything yeah. else. <laughs> Give me my Goliaths what? back. I like my Goliaths. Yeah, th th those are kind of OP. <laughs> when you play them, they're kind of OP. Kind of really OP. shit on air units. Like... They do. They're mobile turrets. Yeah. Missile turrets. They're just... They're amazing. Like, why target fire down a carrier with your Goliaths when you can just A-move and kill all their interceptors? That's right. basically what you can do. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, fighting Protoss, if you know how to fight them on Circuit 1, it's pretty easy. You let them engage your ground units or their carriers. You fly around behind them with your Valkyries and eviscerate the carriers, thus solving the problem. I've done this move several times now. I'm it's a uh, Zerg main... <laughs> And Zerg doesn't have a whole lot of good anti-air options. No, so. uh, you got the Devourer. That's that's about it. Yeah, uh, your suicide guys are pretty annoying. Devourer plus Mutalisk is like yeah. really good because can't throw enough Scourge to scare you. You'll kill everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scourge carrier attack. That's they... the best way to handle them. Yeah, but like you have to catch the carriers with their pants down because if the player is aware of it, they'll just kill your Scourge before they impact. Why you flank them? Because most I don't think you flank Zerg, right? What? Well, yeah, I usually flank carriers because, like, it takes time for those interceptors to return and attack the other target. Yeah, the whole point of Zerg is to overwhelm in numbers. Yeah, you have enough scourges. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea how expensive scourge are? Outrageous. Yeah, Scourge costs... 75 minerals and some gas. No, no, no. Scur yeah, okay, so... Like four at a time, right? All right. It's like two or four at a time. No, 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 no. This is how it works. Scourge are like Zerglings, so you get two of them uh, per egg, but it costs 25... <laughs> it costs 25 minerals, which isn't a whole like, lot, but it costs 75 gas, and that's for two like Scourge. 200. No, 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 no. Like... It's 25 minerals and 75 gas, and at Zerg, like, you... I, I just remember it was way more than uh, is economically feasible for them. Like, you yeah, don't get exactly. the return for it. You can't, you can't get massive amounts of Scourge. Like, your best bet is to spend that gas on better units, like, have and have a better unit comp, like, uh, Mutalisk Devour. Because Scourge are more for, like... You would think that Scourge are like a swarm unit, but they're actually good at picking off small numbers of large targets, and carriers with max interceptor count will just shred them with no problem. Oh, yeah. But yeah, and if you flank them and the player is not paying attention, you will eviscerate the carrier. Yeah, but that's a, that's uh, a lot of hypotheticals. Like, in general, uh, Scourge aren't great against carriers. Like, it's better to have Devourers because... The Devourers will do splash damage to the Carriers and the Interceptors. And then your Mutalisks have the Glaives that bounce between them. And the Devourer, if it has enough stacks, like, it'll just take so much damage from the Mutalisks attacking and get wiped out. 
So Mutalist Devour is like your best anti-air option at Zerg. Also, any unit works great against a player who's bad at the game. Well, so, yeah. So if you're you're banking uh, and your all your tactics are relying on your opponent just being bad, anything works. But I'm I'm That's talking true. I'm talking in a macro sense. Like obviously, I, if you can I was micro just talking better. Talking in a uh, if your player's uh, opponent is bad sense. Yeah, no, I I'm aware of that. But let's say that both players are equally good at micro. Well, scourge are going to lose to carriers 100 percent of the time if that's the case. Like if you're equal at yeah, micro. Yeah, yeah. So. You, you, from a macro standpoint, you go, oh, my opponent has carriers. I need devour uh, Mutalisk, and that's how I win this. Unless they have, unless they also have like uh, dragoons, and then that just kind of complicates issues. But I guess at that point you have Zerglings, so I don't know. Uh, but, uh, as a Zerg main, like up against Protoss is my worst matchup. Like, I I find it hard in Brood War to uh, out macro Protoss, which I should be able to do at Zerg, but like it's just so they're, difficult. They're exceptionally fast at building buildings, really slow at building units, but that's that's negated by the f the sheer amount of buildings they can outproduce you. As a Zerg main, I'm exceptionally bad at everyone as long as it's a multiplayer match. <laughs> Right, right, right. Zerg, Zerg are multiplayer. Do you use control groups? Oh yeah, I, I use control groups, uh, but I just okay. suck at multiplayer. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of nuance to StarCraft. It's one of the main reasons why it was the birth of esports for its time. There's well, just so that, much nuance. Yeah, when I saw that matchup of like an esports player, I saw the difference between me and someone like that. Uh, he was microing his dragoons to fake out the enemy mines. Yes, I know exactly what. The, uh, yeah, you're talking it, about Bisu. I think so, and it did not destroy the dragoon at all. All I did was bait the mines out. They would go, explode, and do no damage. And and, and he was, during that, while he's doing his dragoon micro against mines, he like you can see in his command card, he swaps to his. Uh, Nexus and builds a probe <laughs> and it's like oh my god you're microing and you're gonna build a probe while you're microing that's just insanely good yeah if that's you next level like like dude you dodged a mine a spider mine of all things with a dragoon like you must play the game a lot to know the blast radius of those things and like yeah their movements and all that stuff. And the way that splash damage works in Brood War is super weird because, like, there's a radius, and, like, within that radius, like, half of that radius is the full damage, and then it will, like, fall off towards the edge. So, like, you can get, say, a siege tank in siege mode firing on a pack of Zerglings. Like, the arc light cannon does 70 damage, so any Zerglings hit by that are gonna die. But, like... Anything just barely on the edge of the splash damage will take 35, and because Zerglings have 35 health, like, unless you have a plus one armor upgrade, they're all just going to die horribly to your to siege tanks. But they can survive it otherwise. And there's stuff like, if you have, uh, if you give your Mutalisk a plus one armor upgrade, then it will take 11 hits from a missile turret to kill instead of 10. Stuff like that. Just little breakpoints, you know? Really, really insane. Okay, here we go. Hold up, I uh, got mail coming. Hold up. So what are you rolling for? Did you already do your two hit roll? Yeah, it's it was before we did initiative. Got it. But I only got one hit. Like that little detour we took to talk about StarCraft. StarCraft is my favorite uh, franchise in the whole world. And it's a... Uh, uh, Brood War was the video game that got me into video games. Alright, I'm back. Do you guys want to stop back? here? Or do you, do you guys want to finish the fight? Uh, well, Antius is rolling for damage. I'd say finish the fight. Yeah. 
I mean, especially because it seems like we're close to being done. Because I mean, we finish this fight and then we uh, even yeah, we off, hit right? the thing, get off world. Yep, yep, yep. Might as well just unless, unless there's something more, in which case, Thomas, you can just be like, "There's more." But wait, there's more. But if, but if all that's left is uh, let just me, cleaning me, up this room and getting out of here, let me look at the book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna solve it and be honest. Yeah. So if there, there is more. You don't have to tell us what more there is, but there is more. We can probably call it here. There is there is more after this. Not much more. You guys are at the tail end of, of the entire saga. Um, I say we finish the fight so we we don't come back like in the middle of combat. It's generally not great. I'll agree to that. All right. I mean, clearing out this room shouldn't be that that hard anyway. But yeah, you also, guys are. You guys are uh, at the very tail end. Like, I'm looking at this now. Yep. Uh, so before we rolled initiative, I uh, did one attack with our surprise round thing. Yep. And got one hit. And did yep. uh, 24 damage. To who? Uh, the closest. Closest. Although, I guess uh, I would be that one guy that didn't die from the explosion. Let's go with that. Okay. I'll do that then. I'll. I'll, I'll I will... That guy. And he, he too explodes and dies. Nice. Then, since it looks like I'm going first, unless the bugs roll higher than me. Uh, I did not roll for them yet. And is everyone here? I'm I here. I am here. I'm just quiet. Okay, okay. cool. So these these guys got a six. So did everyone get their rolls in for the that would be Antius. We're missing someone. No we're not. This is everyone, oh, right? Good, yeah. Um, oh. you, if, unless you want the Ogrens. Ogrens. Yeah, you need the Ogrens to have initiative too. You don't need it, but if and you want the, it. Uh, the Imperial Guard. Uh they're not in combat. Well they're in another yeah, room guarding you guys. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. They got. I forgot we left them with the dude. They got a ten. So. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. All right. So am I gonna go? Yep. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna do this again, except better. <laughs> That is better. That's all four <laughs> of my hits. Plus 40, so you're full auto. No tens in there. Unfortunately not. Uh, first one is as good as it gets. Second one is one more damage. Third one is as good as it gets. And the last one is three more, so... All this plus four. So 20, 31, 42, uh, 54, so 58 damage in total. I'm, you're saying that, but what I'm hearing is that guy's dead. <laughs> well, one's dead, and then another one might get super injured. Uh, but I didn't, probably didn't kill him, especially if they're 30 HP apiece. Yeah, because you're right how here. How much damage did you do? Uh, I did 30 in the first two shots. Okay. And then... Um, and it explodes. Yeah, and then uh, 26 in the second two shots. Okay, and he is extremely hurt. Yep. He's limping. Okay, is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay, Ogrins. Ogrins go. So, let's see. Uh, they're just going to make a beeline that way. They're all going to go get them. And these guys are going to go full beeline this way. And then it's uh, Neil Tyron go. Okay. 
so uh, let's see here. Explain to them the wonders of the universe. <laughs> yeah, right. More like uh, politicized science to get people bent out of shape over it. So I can move. Let's see. What can I move? So my charge is 12. My run is 24. But I have the squad cohesion thing. So it should be more than that. We can, uh, it's like just a free, free 10. A free 10. Free 10? Yeah. So it's a free, it's a free full move. Okay. So free, free full move is eight. It's so 24 plus eight is 32. Jesus, you're agilities. My agility is my worst stat. What, what, what is your bonus on your agility? Uh, let me take a look. Is it, is it a four or a no, three? It's a three. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Actually, my agility isn't my worst stat. That would be my weapon skill and perception. Oh, Jesus. My weapon skill is 35. My perception is also 35. And then my next you worst stat is agility. So bad. I did roll pretty bad. But I have uh, 47 uh, uh, toughness and intelligence. Is that with your free reroll on one of your stats? I I used the character creator, so it was all automated. And then I just picked which well, I stats I wanted. I don't know how well the character creator works, because uh, I do know that you get a free reroll. Yeah, the character creator had a reroll for free on it. Well, it's too late for that, and I, I don't really particularly yeah, yeah, I'm just saying for, for like later or in between I'm just saying you, you may be if, able to boost one of your scores uh, if, if I roll a new character I'll do that but I'm not I'm not being a munchkin yeah. here yeah okay so uh, yeah I I suppose I'm just gonna move I'll move like in here this is in cover kind of okay and keep mind there's stuff down over here yeah, that's true. So I move 20 out of 32. Does that mean I can take a shot? Um, a full move means it's a full move action. So I basically did my run, know, like, which is 24, plus, plus a yeah. full move, which is 8. But I didn't use yeah. the extra 8 in the full move. No, I'm running. Never mind. I ran. I literally yeah. ran to get here, so I'm yeah, done. Yeah, so the run would be a full move action. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm done. Yeah, because a full move is a half action. Well, then why is there half move? If a full move is a half action. Um, uh, I don't know, but like in the rule book, it says you for a move you move your full movement. Okay. And not like a half movement. Oh, Got half it. moves are for stuff like uh. Acrobatics, dodging things. Ah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so the standard move action, which is half of action. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. Next. <laughs> Next. So it's my turn. Yep, let me go. Let's go. Dominego. I do a full run of 46 meters. Okay. And it'll be just right here. That's my turn. Oh my gods. Uh, this Hermagon. I don't know. Let me do a will save on this guy because he got hit pretty hard. Okay, so he's pushing forward into attack. Uh, he's gonna push up. He's gonna push up. Uh, he, let's see, can he make it to you in time? Yeah, he's gonna go straight at you. Uh, this one's gonna make a will save too. Uh, this guy buggers off. Uh, Moving forward, moving forward. 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 I believe that's everyone. Okay, 
and mop, go. I am here now. Engaged in melee with this guy, and that's my turn. Alright. So, uh, was that not close enough for your charge? Because your charge is... Charge is 25, on. unfortunately. And the other my, my, my charge is 15, and the free move is 10, so I'd have to move to 25. Oh, it was 36 away, so... Where do our Imperial Guards go? They're guarding... Imperial, the they're guarding the Majos. Yeah, they're oh, like... Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. For some reason, Along we can with see the vision... We can see the conical vision range of that dead guy who we killed. <laughs> Which is funny. Oh, that way. <laughs> yeah, he got removed from the board, probably. Well, that's funny. It was right. funny. Cool. I'm going to move my free 10. And then I'm going to do a full auto burst. Which direction? A. Um. Do a ruler what direction you're going. Yeah, do we care about uh, casualties, these guys, or. Well, if I go this way, then I can hit these people. That's true. You know, and these guys won't be bothered by it, so I'll do this because I can probably actually hit more people. Alrighty. Roll for damage. Okay, the first one. Eight moves, one more damage. Yeah, first one he died. Hold up, let's see. And then, let's see. Okay, so if he succeeds not dying. We're getting hit by that. Uh, it's a Felser? No, I know. It, it He's failing to hit up. His, his buddy. Gotcha. Okay, and then let's see. That's that damage. That's what, 25, 12. So the next three kill the other one, don't, don't they? So he's dead. Okay. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, well, there's an, an extra 13 damage on top of all of this. Okay. From my die replacements. Got it. So 13 will be allocated to the next guy downrange. Boom. Two dead, one severely damaged. Bap, bap, bap. Cool. Ogren. The far away are they? It's a full run action. Yeah, they're gonna go and all run to this one guy here. You mean the couple of them are gonna run to the? They're dumb. You have to think these guys are like incredibly stupid. Yeah, the one that was just got pinged. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it a little more fair. I'll, I'll, I'll do an intelligence check on each of their decisions. <laughs> oh, they oh, failed. Oh, no. Uh, he also oh, failed. Oh, my God. We got a couple more. Uh, hey, 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 hey. That's a success. One succeed, so that he's is a success. Go, he's going to go that way. And then... Oh, okay. that one, three, four. Okay, so <laughs> three swarm this one. We attack bug boys. There's a reason there's a lot of dead Ogren. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, and then this guy, they're going to come over to this one poor Sepsol here. I don't know. I think that other Ogren, he's holding a stick. He's smarter than the rest. Right. Uh, let's see. At least he knows yeah. how to hold objects. Okay, he's going to hit. Uh... He smacks another one in the face, another ogre in the face, <laughs> killing him. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the next one attacks. Okay, he hits. Uh, Mackie oh and yeah, crushing that thing with the big ass like power pole, <laughs> smacks it into the ground. And that's their turn. Tyron, go. Isn't there a third one? Uh, that, well, there was four. Uh, one of them died. 
All right, let's see. Twenty-eight. That's if you see that moth. Yeah, oh, he, so he, this guy never got close enough to hit. No, 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 no. He moved max max movement. So I'm gonna. And fold. These guys didn't do anything. No, they moved max movement too. It was thirty-six movement. That was right at the tether. They ran to him. Okay, so full run. Cool. Yeah, full run. They're at him. Oh. I'm gonna full auto this guy with my uh, bolter. Uh, and let's see. It's uh, so plus twenty for full auto, plus another ten for being out in the open, then another ten for half range. So it's forty. Okay. And I still managed to fucking miss. Great. And also, I do need you to do a toughness save. Who? Me? Yes, you. Oh, so you're gonna kill him. Not necessarily. Oh, yeah, I don't think mine's two point twenty there, but that's enough anyway. Oops, sorry. Okay. So you take ten. Not Holy the one shit. that you rolled before. That wasn't a one. Uh, yeah, it was a one d one. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, if I take if I wait, take ten. It? If I take it's 10 critical, damage... It's critical damage. Yeah, that is critical damage. Take a fate point and... Have it re-roll re your toughness there. Yeah. Go from 2 to 1 fate points to do that. I'll re-roll toughness. Remember, you get a plus 20 on this because we're space marines. Right. I hope oh, you added that. Oh, well, the, the even, last you time... Still you, you still would have failed. Still you still would have failed. So, don't I get another plus 10 because I'm using a fate point? I think that yeah, first one, one was actually a one roll. I don't think it fucked up. Really? No, no, no. Mouse it was, over. It was a bracket at the end of it. I don't mouse think it over the all. toughness. I did a plus zero modifier. Oh, uh, one way to settle this moth. I can duplicate that that yeah. text. If it does a one again, it's probably fucked up. All right. What do you want me to? Uh... Yeah, it's fucked okay, up. Okay, it's fucked up. So go ahead, do your toughness, plus 10. So, okay. plus 30. Or plus 30. Plus 30 total. Yep. Alright, here we go. You got Still. it. Still. Negative no. one. Oh, you were one point off. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, but, uh, let's see. I'm out of, I'm out of, uh, bait, so, so I can't you give You take anything. five. Take five damage. That's still enough to knock me down to zero health. I don't think it's critical because... It, it didn't go over. If it, if it goes over, it's critical. But since you're just at zero, you're yeah. fine. So I, I'm at zero wounds. Or not zero wounds, but... I'm at 22 wounds yeah. out of 22. You're at the point where you're going to start yeah. taking critical damage. Yes, but true. You're, you're still yeah. fine. Conscious? You're, you're still <laughs> conscious? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, oh, oh, this game works... Conscious and unconscious work much differently this time. All right. This one... He is conscious, but any wound he takes now will go critical damage, and he's got to roll on a table for it, so now uh -huh. he has chances of losing limbs and whatnot. I don't think you roll on the table. I think it's just uh, whatever damage you're at is just uh, I, uh, that's the one you get. I, I keel yeah, over and start convulsing violently and uh, vomit in my mouth. Because if he takes, was it, I think, 10? If it's at 10 damage over critical, that's just dead. All right. Uh, Domingos, go. I'm just gonna let me take a look at this thing. I'm gonna have okay. move. When a character has uh, eight or more critical damage, they're dead. Yeah. I'm gonna move to the right and use the heavy bolter against, uh, what's it called? These group of farmer guns. Guys, a plus forty, right? Yes, go for it. Hey, do your damage. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Let's see, the first that's one. That's a lot of damage. Died, and the second one over here died, and then you got a ten there, so you can re-roll, deal more damage, and kill something else. Okay. Roll for damage. 19. 
So I'm assuming you're gonna kill the one that has four health, right? Mm -hmm. The one, okay. Dead. That's three targets dead. Oh, oh, oh. Anything else? Well, that's all I can do, right? Okay. Uh, her, okay. Hermagon's her go. They're gonna attack the big boy in front of them. Miss. Big old whiff. It's gonna move up. It's gonna attack. Big old whiff. And uh, he actually explodes. So. <laughs> whiff. Whiff. And. Oh, okay. So he takes. Yeah, uh, he takes no damage. But. Okay, so he takes. Okay. He's up, but he's uh, like you guys now. And this Hermagon is dead. Okay. Uh, this Hermagon is going to come up and it's going to smack at the sky. Wait, what are the Termagons then? Our Hermagons. There are no Termagons here. Hermagons, I meant. Well, you just shot with. Uh... No, that was, was like... the Mitchell. That, car. It's, yeah, it's that a, was the death explosion. It's like, it's like a grenade. So you had to use it. I use it. I use the oh, rain. Oh, okay. It's like a grenade. So this Ogren is dead. He, get, he gets decapitated by that guy. Okay. Well, let's see the full run to him. He's going to move up to you, Domingus. Attack you. He's not going to attack you. He's just going to. Uh, he's going to explode. And fails. Uh, let's see. And Sylvester fails. Okay, he just dies. I intimidated him. Ah, uh, beer right back. Hold up, Mail's here. Get here. He saw me killing his friends. He tries to launch at me, but I intimidate him too much. Reality and time itself warps and slows down as the GM is AFK. <laughs> some ZGM Those are some expensive after right effects you're going to be adding in that video. Then. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's using your imagination. That doesn't cost anything. Why? It costs, it costs brain power. It does. Yeah. That's the most valuable commodity that people like these days. You know, there's actually this, um... Uh... It's like a disability, where it's like this super rare... Obscure thing, but, like, the person just has no imagination. Like, that's a thing. Like, they can't... They don't have a mind's eye, they can't picture anything. Like, they can't even... They have to... They have to comprehend words differently because it doesn't give them a mental image. Stuff like that. I forget what it's called, but it, it's like a specific right. mental disorder. Yeah. You want the other half back? Okay. Sorry, guys. She brought cookies here. What kind? Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, say so oatmeal raisin. A large number of people uh, are uh, affected by that uh, disability too. Really? By the way, how many? Yeah, to some degree or another. I mean, there's a there's a surprising number of people who actually. Have okay, that. maybe it isn't super rare then. Maybe I would. It's like anism in Asia or something like that. Something in Asia. At what well, point know. does something that affects a large majority of people stop being a disability and start being just how people are? Well, there's there's a, a smaller portion that it's 100% effects, but there's a surprising number that it affects somewhat. Hold up. He's going to attack you, ZL. I did not see there's a guy inside of you. He misses. All right, ZL, go. So it's like a, a spectrum of how much it affects you kind of a thing. Spectrum disorder. There's a, and there's a larger number of people that, that affects than you would think. 
it's still disorder. It's not a mental illness, but it's like a disorder, you know, like ADHD yeah. is technically a disorder because you're comparing it to the order of someone who does not have ADHD. Mom, Their brain oh. is ordered differently. Yes. Anyway, back to the game. All right, Moth, go. Right, I'm just seeing what I can do here. Little darkness, my old friend. Yeah, no, it's pretty much just the one attack. That's what it is. Aphantasia. Aphantasia? A P H A N T A S I A, where you can't see things in your head, right? Yeah. Yeah, aphantasia. You can't see, you can't picture things mentally in your head? Yep, right. It's weird. I don't know what I'd do without that ability. Yeah, you can still draw art and stuff. It's just they process it differently, but you can still function perfectly fine. Yeah, apparently, uh. Ooh, nice. Ooh! That's that's painful for that hormigant or whatever. Yeah, you said aphantasia is a spectrum disorder, so like Uh about one to three percent of the population have it. Okay. But that's like total aphantasia. Total but, aphantasia. Uh, yeah, okay. total aphantasia. So full blown aphantasia, one to three percent of the population. Damn, that's but quite there's a still lot, some actually. people who have trouble visualizing in their head, but they can still visualize. Yeah. So it's not like full-blown aphantasia. That's, and that affects a, a little bit more, and it's somewhat surprising. Or at the very least, I've seen a lot of people who have it. Honestly, I might have a mild case of that then, because unless I'm really thinking about something, I have a hard time that's visualizing it. things just off the top of my head. Yeah, and that's kind of the same with me too, but I don't know how... That compares to a normal, per, uh, what I guess would be normal. You'd probably have to get tested for it or something. They're an artist, dude. I'm yeah, I'm an artist. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. I know, like, uh, my art director, uh, when I was going to school, he was just like, yeah, my dreams are full blown color, high detail. And I'm like, dude, I'm lucky if I get color in my dreams. I'm lucky if I get detail at all. I'm if lucky it's not if just I dream at all. Blur and gray all scale. Right. Dude, dreams are, like, super weird for me. Like, things happen in my dreams, but there's never, there's almost never any, like, solid image. I just know that it's happening. Almost like a narrator reading something out of a book, but it's not even I, that. I at least get imagery of mine, but it's sort of like that, too. Yeah. All right. You ready, Ancius? Ready to kick some right. ass? Yeah, I'm going to full sh uh, full-blown murder this uh, guy that's near me. Uh, I say that, but I'm going to try. I mean, if your track record is uh, anything to nope. contend nope. with. Nope. Oh, I tried, never mind. and it, and it didn't work. Yeah. You failed? I failed. Want a fate, you want a fate roll? Or? I have no fate. Uh, does anyone else want to get a fate roll? I've only got the one left, and I need a medical I mean, it's just one guy. I'm not super worried about it. And it's not a warrior, so... Okay, not the other turn. I have one fate point, and I'm about to start taking critical damage, so I'm not touching that. I will take my free uh, ten meter move, though. Okay, uh, they smacked the, they smacked this thing dead, just splat. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze up the other two to go move and attack the other one. Let's uh, see. If they don't die to the poison. That's one got hit by poison. Yep. <laughs> they also got hit by the stupid. So this one is, uh, he's going back this way. <laughs> and proceeds to vomit and die. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. This one backs up and then... he got six feet away from everybody. Yeah, this time. one backs up and then goes forward and then smacks that bug again. Sees the row. Oh, uh, hold on, let's see, Ancius, one second. 
Okay, you're, oh, no. It's bad. Uh, tough to check to use well. Um, Tech Marine, go. Um, well, I'd like to remind you that I'm at zero health and uh, I'm you're poisoned. Unconscious. <laughs> you're not unconscious, though. So I'm still conscious, but like... You, nothing, you, uh, nothing will affect any of your rolls or anything else. Okay. So you still take your actions as normal. So I'm going to go ahead and duck back around this cover here. Uh, and that is, let's see, how far away is that? It's like, yeah, it's like 10 meters. So I can still uh, attack this guy. And I will. I'm going to fire at him in full auto with my Stardust Bolter with Fire Selector. I believe the total modifier is plus 40. Yes, because he is within 100 meters. Right, and I still managed to miss. Yay. Whiff, 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 whiff. Damn it. Domingos, go. Wait, do I need to... I'm still poisoned. Do I need to do a toughness check? No, I'll let you know when. Okay. We're not doing every single round. All right, I thought that's what it was. No. You'd be long dead by now. If it was yeah. Do a half move north so I can avoid primary fire and fire at this thermal gun. Go for it. Plus 40 again. Yep. Deal damage. Oh, <laughs> Duh, he just, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. He's oh, already dead. I didn't throw one out there. So you don't actually have to roll to uh, try and hit again? But he's going just... to anyway, just to see how dead this poor creature is. I know, but they just no, auto... No, no, no. They just the, auto the righteous, yeah, the Righteous Fury is auto... Oh, yeah, 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 you're so right. As long as it's an alien, they automatically hit again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the thing we've learned. We can also right. switch targets, too, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah, but it still know. does damage. Did you do your toughness check by the way, Antius? Uh, no, because you didn't tell me to do one. I, I just want to did. No, you told nope. him to do it, not me. Oh. You told just me to do one there. last turn. Well, yeah, who's supposed to do one this after? All right, cool. <clears throat> How much do I take? Oh, you're God. Cheating. I swear I'm, to God, you're cheating. I'm not cheating. Look, 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 look. 110, 110, what? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold up. Let's roll. 1d10. This random number generator. 1d10. 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 I swear I'm not it's cheating. not 10, but the first two that took a long time were 10. So Wait a uh, second. Look at, this Look at this pattern. Three sevens in a row, eights, then two sixes in a row. The random and number gods have row. spoken. Oh, six, I dare you. Say again? Roll another six, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> it's not rigged. I can show you the. I show you the command. Uh, so I'm gonna be her. I'm gonna be fair there. Let's see. This is so random. No. Just okay. Add all if, these uh, up and then divide them by the number of rolls that you did. No, here's what I want to do. Um, if it's if it's over fifty, you're gonna take. Uh, the 10, if it's under 50... I mean, I'm taking the 10, it's fine. I just... You can't cheat at a random number. Why would you do a 1d100 for a coin flip? You can just do a 1d2 and then have the same result. I wanted to give them more variance. More variance. But so it doesn't the, matter. The it doesn't matter. It all averages out with oh, let's probability. Let's not get into this again. Let's not get into this one again. Moth, I'm telling you. You were wrong when you made that assertion the last time we had this discussion. Okay. Dude, you're an engineer, there's right? There's math and then there's hang on, hang on, very hang on, things. hang on. Dude, you're an engineer, right? Supposedly. Okay. It's a probability of getting 50 one way or another on a 1D100 the exact fucking same as the probability of flipping a coin. Well, this is going through an algorithm. Yes. So... <clears throat> I do want to remind you, Kobler... Just so you are aware of this argument you're having, 
This argument was between a virtual dice and a real dice, both D100s. Just so you're aware. If it's a random number generator, right? Then that means it's not, well, that it's every not number is random. 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 It's it's not true when I'm on yes, a PC. Yes, I know. Okay, let me speak. So there's computers run pseudo random, meaning they can be predictable. Yep, can be predictable, but unless you actually like break apart the algorithm and do all the math, like you have to assume that all the numbers have the same weight. All pseudo random generators are supposed to have the same probabilities of producing every outcome. So if anything, you're just by rolling a one d ten instead of a one d two, like it it could possibly change the outcome, but that's that would only that would only be because it's. Did you, you already roll, Dominguez? Your turn already went. My turn. Yeah, I. Oh, yeah, you killed the monster. Okay. Yeah, I killed the monster and I uh, did righteous fury again, okay. and got twenty-two and thirteen for the when I switched target, which is this Hermagon. All right, Hermagon's turn now. So this Hermagon is going to charge Antius here. Right, I just got uh, ten, and I didn't. I didn't move on. There's nothing else to shoot. I think he killed everything. No, no, he, he, that he killed the thing and then got two more. Righteous Fury hit. Oh, right. He can shoot this one guy. Okay. Yeah. And then he got another 10 on the damage for that one, so he could go and hit it again. All right. Hit it some more, dude. So, some one more damage roll. Just, you know, make sure it's dead. Again, you don't get a roll for the uh, the chance to hit. He just... Against okay. aliens, they just auto-hit. So minus 17 on this guy to the north. He took 17, so he's hurting. Plus the 13 and 22. Oh, well, he's super dead then. Man, he did a lot of damage against these two here. Yeah. Question here, Boko. I took damage from a melee attack, too. Don't give him more fuel. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. You didn't take the toxic damage originally from getting hit. Neither did I. Mm -hmm. But you're rolling toxic rolls, and I'm not. Yeah, it's not don't give him ideas. It's more of like... Let's Shouldn't not be I munchkins, be and let's be fair so that the GM is fair to us. Because the GM could just as easily go, Oh, you guys are munchkining, so I'm going to make the, everything more difficult. Or I'm not going to give you stuff that normally would be freebies. Or am I misunderstanding something that happened in the um, background? That I they, took a, they took the damage... There was a threshold of damage that had to punch through to deal enough damage to do the poison in the first place. Yeah, I if I remember right, it was like 5 or 10. You yeah, yeah. Take that. Did you take that much damage? Then you should take a toughness check. I only took 3 damage from a hit, but I don't think Yilma took enough to take the first time. I took 5 damage. We can roll back. I think he took more than 5 damage from one. No, I took 5 damage. I did not take any more than 5. Yeah, so every 5 I apply... The poison. So what was his toughness check? Minus one? So it's directly going against that? Like, how is this calculated? How is the poison damage oh. calculated? So toughness, I actually looked at our, the, the toxin, is just a tough <clears throat> check. You fail or succeed that, then you take a one, one d10 damage. Uh, let me go look. At the right, right, but I think we're, right, we're talking about when it was initially enough. applied. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. And yeah, then, not, not necessarily if whether we... Succeed the toughness check afterwards, but yes. the initial application of it. Yeah. So you might have some inquiries or questions to the <clears throat> biologist the about all this. Toxin gauge implemented. Right? Because um, <clears throat> you guys on your mission briefing, this biologist has been specifically gathering intel on this specific splinter, gathering DNA sample, all sorts of things. That you guys know. So, I think you killed everything. Oh, no, there's one left. Um, oh. Go, Ogrins, uh, go. Go, Ogrins, go. Yes. <laughs> Is this the Ogrins' turn? Well, the turn counter is dead. The tractor's gone, so... We'll just say... We'll just... Oh, look, it's a dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> Smack. Yes, dear? I, I, think, I think you mean what bug? Oh, we're playing... 
We're playing. Oh my god. The bug so is just, just pulverized into the floor. Okay. Okay, so they killed everything. Okay. And uh, Ogres tell you, uh, they'll be back. They come back. Lights went out and they started coming. That's what they tell you. Um, so where's the treasure? Yeah, oh, where's... Uh, yeah, they, they take it to you. They said, over, over here. All right, what have we got? And they show you a giant pile of just stuff. Just like hobbled together, thrown in a giant ass pile of some sort. You see, you see uh, bars of gold. You see raw ore. You see weapons. You see ammunition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna comb through it to see if I see the data core in there. Through it to try and get through this data core. Say again. So then I think we're all gonna palm through it to try and find this data core. Yeah, yeah. we need the data core. Okay. So, so awareness is a skill, right? Yeah. I think or are we yes. doing search? Or search. No. There's no search. Oh, there's search. a search. No, there's a search. Search, search. would make sense. Uh, We're basic for search, imagine though. Imagine evaluate would make sense. Can I do an awareness anyway? Can I do a tech use to see if I can, like, pick up the signal from this data core using my, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah. ...thing? My MIU? Sure. Not to be confused with NIU, which is Northern mm -hmm. Illinois University. All right. Go for it. Uh, modifier? Uh, plus ten? Plus ten. If I can, if I can fucking type. There we go. Oh no! I'm gonna use a fate point. Hey, go for it. Wait, wait, wait. I can, I can do attack as well. So Before you, oh yeah, fate through. point. How about we all search through? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm getting a plus ten bonus on this for everyone. Okay. Oof. Plus ten. I got it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you go through it, you do find it. Wiffle, I needed to roll under a, a 30, and I got it. You find it under, like, mounds of gold and loot and all sorts of things you dusted upon. You move a rifle off. You see, obviously, this is the data core you've been seeking. So that's our primary objective done. Excellent. Also, Apothecary, heal me. Uh, I'll try. Last I was told, messing with the toxin will trigger it again. Possibly. Well, you're not trying to cure the toxins; you're just trying to heal me from the damage that I suffered. Yeah, would that's the same thing. Well, I think he was alluding to if you keep trying, if you're trying to cure me, right? As opposed to healing wounds suffered. That's different. From. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can heal wounds all day long. Alrighty. Yeah. But you were trying to, like, remove the toxin before, and that's when he was like, that's going to cause problems. A no crit success. So okay. Does that mean I get double the healing? Ooh, yeah. Let's give you that. Eight, nice. was eight wounds healed. I'll take it. Back to two. I yeah, recommend you maybe heal the tech marine, too. Yeah. There's a 4.5. There's another four to you. Another uh, four? All right. Yeah. Go ahead and do a search there, tech marine, as well. Did you already do one? I did a tech use, use to tech try use. and do find a, the search, thing. Do a search as well. Okay. A modifier. Ah, uh, that's gonna be plus twenty. Okay. So I'm not trained in search. search. Yeah. Two point six five. Yeah, you're, you're able to find. You're able to find some what appears to be some some sort of medical equipment. You don't know exactly what it is. Apothecary. What is this? Uh, I will get over. What is it? Uh, no, it's it, it will definitely help you heal him. So any healing you do now give you double with that if you use it. So it's detox. Not a detoxer, but it will it'll definitely uh the so wounds moth, times two. Moth healed. healed me for four. So does that make eight? If he wants to spend mm -hmm. that that resource, I'd have to roll again. Out of it. Okay. Yeah, you can spend that um advanced <clears throat> medicine to do that if you wish. So advanced med kit, really advanced, super rare. Well, I'm obviously a, from someone of like great importance. Do you want me to burn this on you now or wait? No, I think we should wait because this is meta, but we did discern earlier that uh, 
I'm going to survive like until at least the end of the day. So like yeah. once we once we get evac, I'll probably be okay. Speaking well, of evac, in case uh, yeah, we should we probably get what get we came now. for. We, we got it. Back to... Let's go get the Majos. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Our secondary objective was secure them alive, right? Yeah. Or was it something else. No, no yeah, our, 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 our primary objective. objective was the data core. Our secondary was the Majos alive. No, no, no. We uh, have two our primary objectives. Was uh, finding the mercenary group. Yeah, yeah but, let me check. But no oh, one in the right, mercenary thanks. group showed up. No, that's secondary. No, no, they're they're still the, that group's still active in the world. Well, the bring okay. the Majos back alive was if possible, but the core was the primary objective. Yeah, but like if Majos possible. is also it, but I kind of feel it's like secondary bringing them back alive. Core yep. is probably the, the yeah, real primary. That's true. Oh yeah. Um. So you're right. But we accomplished both parts of the primary. Well, we can. We just gotta, you know, get them and get out. So, let's get them and get out. Agreed. Perhaps that requisition point will help the shuttle get here faster. Uh, do you guys <laughs> Why is no one capturing that requisition point? Do you guys want to end here, or yeah, because uh, there's still about uh, roughly about an hour worth of content left. Okay, let's uh, let's call uh, it here then. then. I think we're good. Yeah. Awesome. That was a Next great week. session. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, the last <laughs> leg of the, the journey is the extraction and bringing out everyone alive. Well, yeah. And, and possibly finding that mercenary mm -hmm. group. How much XP we get? Oh, we're not doing that. We're immediately evacuing. So what Our was... about to die. <laughs> so, hang on. What was the... Um, what was that object that Moth found? I think you ought to put that in your inventory, Moth. Oh yeah, it's an advanced med kit. Uh, advanced, yeah, it's advanced, an advanced, advanced, it's an advanced med kit. That's something we're gonna want for later. I think we just have to not get too awesome to use syndrome over it. Right. Yeah. Like all my guns in my stash and escape from Tarkov. And it doubles your uh, healing amount, whatever it is. Two x uh, heal wounds. Uh, how many uses? Uh, it is one on that one. Again, super rare. Uber wealthy people. They had it. So, uh, how much XP do we get for this session? Uh, let's do 600. You guys went through a lot. Okay. 600, all right. So we have we should have twenty eight hundred to spend, plus six hundred uh, is twenty eight hundred. What? Yeah, it should be a twenty eight hundred. How much? How much XP did y'all get last session? Four. Yeah. We got, yeah, we should yeah, four. be wait. We get six hundred this time. Yep. Yeah. So we should get seventeen. Seventeen one hundred. How much? Thirty four hundred. Someone's 17, 100, that's not a number. <laughs> 17,100 XP to spend total. 17,000? But that's what? total. No, 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 no. That is total counting the 12,000 we started with. Uh, oh, God, yes, do but... Oh, jeez, don't do that. No, like, no, 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 no. It's literally total XP to spend is what you All right, put. listen, listen. Jeez. For making this more complicated than it needs to be, let me explain. So... We have a certain amount of XP that we have yet to spend. Everything that we have earned on this mission, like throughout all of our sessions, is being added to our two spend total, but we cannot spend it until after the mission. So we are adding 600 to that total. Not the yeah, total also, spend, but two spend. 17,000 seems way excessive considering uh, we only had like 2,000 to begin with to spend. I have 2,800, and no, that's from all of at, our sessions. Should be at 3,400 to spend? No, I'm saying uh, on character creation, we have an extra 2,000 to spend, right? right. Then, um, I've got 3,500 uh, 3, with this bonus here, considering if we got 400 last session, are you guys, and 600 this session, then I've marked 
35. I had 100 left over, so it would be 3,400 total through all of the, this mission's That's XP. Correct. Yeah. That's what That's I've correct. got as well. I have 3,400 okay, so total. Okay, so we've earned 3,400 total for this yep. mission. Yeah. So far. Yep. Cool. Total XP earned. Total XP had entirely is 17,100. Jeez, you do it weird. That's... That, okay. I'm, I'm doing a running total and then subtracting what I spent. Yeah, but if you look at the experience, it says XP no. to spend and XP yeah. spent. We cannot spend the XP that we have earned yet. Like, any yes. any residual... I, I can fix yeah. that number after the mission's over. Are, are you saying 17,000 or 1,700? 17,000. Moth is overcomplicating things. It's not, it's not overcomplicating anything. Where are you getting the 17,000 from? Okay, we started with 12,000 for being a space marine. Cool, yep. ignore that. Plus the extra 2K, which is 14K. Ignore yeah, the, I... the 12,000 for starting as a space marine because our rank XP bonus that everything calculates off yeah. of okay. is Okay, our after book that. literally says count that as spent XP. Well, then our rank is going to be huge. And we should have started at like rank... It, it said count it as spent XP, but don't count it towards your rank. All right, let me say something. Okay. My total... It's, it's a weird thing. This, it's it's weird, but that's how you're supposed to write it in, according to the book. My total. I think that's XP... only if you're swapping between stuff. We should probably take that part into but, account. But if right. we're not, you can probably just ignore that first twelve thousand. Yeah, my total that should be in your total XP spent. The twelve thousand should be part of your total XP spent. So for me. Because you get that 14,000 initial XP, like the 12,000 plus the 2,000, and I spent like 1,400 of that initial chunk of 2,000 that we get on top of being a Space Marine, my total spent is 13,600. So I had... I, I get that. Yeah. I don't, you don't realize that I'm not doing total XP spent at the moment. I'm counting all of the XP we've done counting the stuff we started with as a running total. Right. Okay. And I'm but just putting it in the XP spent tab. I understand that, but what I'm saying is the XP to spend, that's what we should be increasing. And then when, yeah, we, but when we ultimately we spend... how much we have for sure because you didn't spend some, <sighs> I didn't spend some, somebody else didn't spend some. We all but it, but that stays in our XP to spend. how much they have to spend and how much is going to the going actual to rank yes. than it's rather fine. than what, how you do it. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm going with the total we've earned. That's the number that's the same for all of us. All right, let me let me explain what I've been doing. Well, I have we earned my, plus that initial 2,000 extra counts to ranks. So my... The, the initial XP doesn't count towards rank. I think it's the, first, the, the extra two thousand that we got to customize, I think that does count towards ranks. Yes. Yeah. Everything else doesn't. Our mission XP in that first two thousand. Wait, isn't the first ranks. rank sixteen k? Yep. Yeah, so that would count the twelve k because that'd be ridiculous otherwise leveling up for the first time. What? Getting to rank. One to two is like 17k XP, isn't it? Total. And to get rank one, you have to have a... Hold on. The 12,000... I mean, D&D uh, &D games usually takes forever to... Right, right. Yeah, rank up. one is from 13 to 17,000. Yeah, so right. it, it counts yeah, yeah, the yeah. initial 12k towards your rank one. Okay. Ow. Yeah, plus that 1,000 XP. But we were given an additional 1,000 XP because Thomas is being generous. Yes. And so, you needed it. You need you did, darn well needed it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, so when did that additional oh, thousand so yeah, come yeah, in? Yeah. Thomas gave us an extra thousand on top of the book, giving us a thousand. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. We so we had four... three thirteen k, counting the twelve k we start with for being space marine. Book who gives an extra one k. So we yeah, had fourteen so k. Start with fourteen thousand. And yeah. I spent. Of that fourteen thousand, I spent a hundred or no, I spent thirteen thousand six hundred 
Well, I didn't spend that much. I only spent 1400 So my total spent is uh, 13600 And my XP2 spend, I've been adding that up. And then eventually, sure. eventually when, uh, when this mission is over, I'm going to spend whatever XP that I want to and then subtract that from two spend and add it to spent. So I'm not doing the running total. I'm just like adding. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, adding it up. Yep. We, That's we how I'm do doing that. it. Okay. So, okay. I'm just, I'm, I was just going for a total so we know. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand now. I understand now, Moth. So once we do spend our XP, we will be ranked two. Yes. Yep. Which makes sense. Yes. yes. So I'm 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 loving you guys at a decent pace. I don't want to go too crazy. You guys get level. What level do you mean percussion. we're not rank eight off the first mission? You're a bad DM. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think getting a rank permission, and that's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to strive for something like that. Seems to be acceptable. So yeah, only eight missions. No, there'll be more. What no, 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 no. Because no. it ends at eight at uh, rank eight. Really? Okay. So I have to yep. keep that in mind. Okay. So I have to. It's gonna be a logarithmic curve then. So it gets yeah. ranked. It gets harder. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So living. It also. What's the next level up? But uh, to rank three then. Uh, we like need four thousand. Twenty-one k. Okay. Okay. So it seems to be about. It's 4,000 from rank 1 to rank 2, and then from rank 2 to rank 3, it's uh, another 4,000. Uh, once we hit rank 4, okay, okay. then it's 5,000. It's 1,000 times rank. the rank to level up. All right, here's my question then. So rank rank 7 to 8 would be 8,000 XP. Here's my mm -hmm. question. Does that initial uh, 12,000... It's not right. It's every, it, no, because once we get to rank 4, it's every 5,000 XP. Okay. So does that initial twelve thousand count towards our rank now? Yes. Or that yes. it's every fourth. Okay. Because without that initial twelve thousand XP, we wouldn't be rank one. Ah, I see. Yeah. We're already Space Marines. Already have that first rank. Not only Space Marines, the best of the best of the Space Marines. Yeah. We're like uh, we're like the Navy SEALs. But that help with the comparison when, when the, uh, the the Imperial Guardsman rolled up? <laughs> or is he gone? What Sorry, Imperial what? Guardsman? No, oh, when the Imperial Guardsman was that was that good comparison contrast to see your oh, yeah. guys' output. Not really, yeah. considering when we were playing uh, the Inquisition one, uh, my my character had like an agility of seventy. That you guys yeah. had like high end characters, if I recall. You guys are towards the end of the game. That was uh, that was the Dark Heresy campaign, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, my first Dark Heresy character was just fucking crazy. I think your Space Marine guys might be able to take him on, though, even at this low rank. Probably. I mean, canonically... Uh... Well, canonically, we're just... We're, quote-unquote, just Death Watch Marines. Like, the characters that we had for Dark Heresy were, like... Uh, they may you. They, yeah, they they were like a l much more specialized than we are. Also, I had another Dark Heresy character from a previous campaign before that one, and that one was even more coked. Yeah, she was just insane. Moth okay, okay. was a psycho. She was a standard human running around with a heavy bolter sniper rifle. Yep. Oh my god. Yes. What the fuck? In one hand, and then a sword in the other. Okay, and that's... Her, and she, she also had another hand that had poison claws in it, and a replaced leg, and fought off Dark Eldar in melee combat. Oh my god. So she lost the leg. Fucking Billy. Was it... Did I... Oh, that guy. Yeah, Billy stabbed her <laughs> with the plasma sword. Oh, Billy. What do you mean my bone leg is melted? <laughs> yeah, Billy loved to play psychological warfare against you guys. He loved, he Don't enjoyed worry, that. Off his hand Who the hell is Billy? Dark Eldar bastard. 
<laughs> named Billy? What the fuck? I named him Billy. We didn't know what his name was, so I just named him Billy because he wouldn't <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Should have named him Gabby because he wouldn't stop gabbing. No, he, he, he sounded more like a goat, so it was Billy. Oh, okay. Well, all of Thomas's characters sound like a goat. Not that kind of goat. Thomas, they just said you sound like a goat. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I fear some characters may not make it back to the evac. It was a shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've we've incurred the Inquisitor's wrath. I don't want to uh, she's yeah, the one who got Billy. the plasma sword through her leg. She yeah, yeah, I remember... Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy did that. I remember that. In that combat, you guys are fighting in the the ship or something, mm -hmm. and you and Parker are taking taking them on, and he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna stab you." That was ridiculous. Parker made fucking what were those things? They were like mechs made of nanites from the old ones. Yeah. Yeah, so, he's yeah. like a roboticist, right? He's supposed to. Get, he's supposed to. Okay, I, I told him. I tell him, no, there's a couple roles. Your guy, your guys own the sciencey stuff, right? And uh, it's gonna take like a natural one to read what this even is. One, next couple <laughs> roles, one, 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 one. I'm like, oh my god! Oh. He, as soon as he's able to unlock what it was, how to use it, he did it. Like, he's <laughs> stack of crap because he had the specific skill, like arch archaeological read, where the fuck it was, to read it. Like you're kidding me. You had that specific skill to read that crap. All right. <laughs> Damn. And the thing was like uh trying it was it was being hijacked by the Necrons. They're trying to hijack into it cuz they wanted it to use it. And then uh uh the Space Marine sect that was that was the hidden fortress type guys. They they wanted it, so you just incurred the wrath of everyone. And Parker is being slowly corrupted by it because there's a you know, chaos demon in it. No oh boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but didn't we finish the campaign before he got fully He's, corrupted? Uh, he, different uh, campaign. Oh oh oh. I thought that was the same campaign. Chris Warren. Oh, I think Parker's character came back for that oh, campaign. He he. That's right. He he left y'all. Yeah. No, he didn't leave. I pretty much jettisoned him into space and then warped the ship into an orc planet and then blew up a supermassive black hole trying to contain the thing. Right. Because a deep shot an orc in the head and hit the Necron artifact. Oh with god. With a critical. <laughs> yeah, he's using it as a, a chieftain helmet or something. <laughs> What oh, look, the Necron fuck? Artifact, Chieftain Helmet. Boom. Straight into it. Oh, look, it's cracking. Hmm. Don't we know this thing's a supermassive black hole? Yup. Okay, that's bad. She died. She died, but she saved some lives. Well, that's what's important. You gotta do the heroic sacrifice. Yeah, and then you get brought back as a fucking chaos demon. <laughs> oh, I could do. Who we fought in the second campaign, the Slanesh one. No, not Holy the Slanesh. Holy shit! Nurgle, Nurgle demon that we were fighting. Right. That was her. Right. Well, I'm done. I will catch y'all next week. All oh right. yeah, man, that was fun. A lot of fun. Glad to poison y'all and corrupt your old bodies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chaos marines. Oh shit. No, nothing like that. <laughs> just and if there's just tyrannids. Take off the helmet. I'll do it right now. Yeah, if there's if there's Tyranids, there will not be chaos. They usually don't intertwine too well. All I know is I hope I get enough renown to where if I do die, I can come back to Dreadnought. We get a while yet for that. Oh, I yeah. know, I know. It's like thirty thousand XP we gotta spend. Oh, oh. Geez. yeah, just to get to that part. All right. Are you saving up for that? Are you literally gonna save up all your XP for that? No, no, no. It's a 5,000 XP purchase. Oh, okay. Like, you get that. But you have to reach um, a certain level of renown. Yeah. 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 Plus you need renown and other stuff. Wait, are ranks different than renown ranks? No, 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 no. So here's yes. how it works. Here's how it ranks works. Ranks are different oh, than renown. Rank? Okay, your rank determines your renown. So, like, rank... 
zero to three is like a certain renown level, and then like four to six is another one, so on no, and I so forth. No, I think our renown we gain based on what we do in the mission. That That's our correct. renown has nothing to do with our rank. Is it okay? Yeah. You yeah, our rank is just uh, what advancements we can then take. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to double check this. Renown, you Renown get is the, what we can mission. buy from the armory, but rank is the advancements that we can take. Okay, yeah, the Renown rating is uh, different because yeah. it goes up to over 80. Why does there have to be 63 fucking results for Renown in this book? You get, yeah, you get, you get Renown after each mission. Yeah, because there's uh, only eight four. ranks. Culprit. But there's, yeah, as he said, like 80 Renown. But to become like a, a chaplain, for example, you need to be like rank four or five, and then spend another five thousand um, uh, XP just to buy the chaplain specialization, or the champion specialization. Either one. Okay, so and you it need is the different. number of renown to be able to take it too. There's renown rating and then renown rank. So I'll look at how much to give you guys. That was a, it's a renowned it's a, rank is completely separate from rank. Rank is like your basic levels. Yep. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys get like more renown. You get renown faster than you would get levels. It's giving me the jump around to see where you can actually get renown from. Um, I well, think those are renowns for our rewards from uh, the from the mission. Yeah, I know, but yeah. then you go to the rewards page and it says go somewhere else to find out how much you renown. Yeah. You get. I, I'm, I'll, I'll give. I'll make sure to price that fairly to y'all. And it, just remember, Boko, uh, we did uh, specifically take the oath that gives us extra renown. Yep. How much extra renown did it's it like say? It's like one. Okay. One so, per objective oh, or whatever geez. that we've accomplished. Oh wow. Okay. But if you count the, no, yeah, the yeah, yeah, four yeah. and the mages as two separate objectives, then that's they are. two they renown are. extra, two extra renown points that we get. That's four renown. So we start at zero renown, right? And we're still at that until the end yeah, of the four. mission? Yeah, that's yeah. four. Yes. Okay, uh, okay. Four, four renown. Uh, I'll look at the primary objectives. I think they give you a little bit more renown for primary objectives than secondary. Nope, it's one for primary, one for secondary, one for tertiary, okay. one for five or more objectives, <laughs> and one if you do three or more veteran objectives. Yeah, then it sounds like we're just going to get four renown. Yep, that's how I figured it was going to be something around there. I knew it was going to be... Tremendous. I know it's like two to two to four. All right, cool. Well, as I said, I'm off. I'll see y'all later. All right. See you later, man. All right, see ya. Peace out. All right, gentlemen. Gonna cut the recording here.